the animes, I was not supposed to watch in high school. you watch and regret it all right so the one that uh, i probably shouldn't be as proud as i am is air gear oh my gosh. that's so good though <laughs> so <laughs> welcome everyone to uh dean's denial i'm already in tears uh for those of you We've who watched early. the opening section um i accidentally hit the uh, the mic on <laughs> segment as we were going through the opening <laughs> credits so you can go back and hear matt say that was a uh, that was a uh, anime i wasn't supposed to watch in high school but i definitely did watch in high school and i like, cut it back off so no context You'll never know what the anime was. You'll just I mean, know I that you watched it when you wasn't a... supposed to. No, Who don't. Then you never know. <laughs> it could have been Fruits Basket for all you know. You know? It doesn't oh, come on. Fruits Basket Fruit, is Fruit a delight. Basket is... It's that true. is a it's delight. True. Fruit that Baskets is a, is a delight. That is Anyone a delight. But if that. you have hyper-conservative parents, then any anime could be, you know, something meant to summon demons. <laughs> you know, to With be fair, uh, my, my yeah. mom bought me Venom, so... Like the Venom toy, so she wasn't that. Okay, fair enough. But she anyway. wasn't worried about I those to sort of tentacles. explain to my mother she what not know. Soul Eater was and why I wanted merch. Oh no, dude, Soul Eater. Oh that was my another. gosh, I just wiped mayonnaise Classic and spicy myself. mustard into my eyes while wiping them, so that wasn't God smart. Damn it, Mark. Um, so I'll be crying a lot this session. It's just. Why did you wipe spicy mayo on your face? These guys so emotional. I'm good. I'm good. Um. Welcome yeah. everyone to D in Denial. Um, I am Don't your host, my drug. Uh, Shenanigan Sovereign and Dungeon Lord. Yeah, um, you can find me as Mr. Markham uh, on pretty much everything. And uh, let's start with the one on the left, which would be Selkie. Oh, and me. Yeah, you're the only one on the left. All <laughs> for now. For now, the others are coming back. Soon. The only, we just had the some only, only Marshall schedules. class. Because I noticed your segregation on. Yeah, uh, I did notice denial. that. The Marshals are on the left. The spellcasters are on the right. It was not intentional, but it happened. I mean, hey, if it, it works, works, it works. Right. But it worked. I am the only Marshall class. I am sulky to the internet, and I am Kali in the Lost Continent. I've. Not been here in a while. I don't know what chaos I'm about to walk into. Oh, God. <laughs> they will not tell me, and I'd ask them not to tell me. But apparently I have a surprise in store for me, mm -hmm. and I'm scared. Yes. With Markham, you should be. Markham, I always am. Every time he's private messaged me, it's always... <laughs> I have a surprise I don't want for you. I to give you an anxiety attack. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's a constant state of being, Markham. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, we also play uh, Naz, Selkie, and I also play tomorrow night with the uh, Legends of Kralis, so I understand what it's like to have a DM message you out of nowhere and be like, by the way, I have an idea. It's like, oh no! Um, <laughs> I think we all understand that that mortal fear. Yeah, um, come see me cry tomorrow. Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, Talaris has already made me cry, and um, we're debating whether or not... Uh, I don't cry. Mm, I mean, he said he's cried before, so... I don't cry. Alright. Well, finger, fingers... You just promised everyone that you're going to cry tomorrow night, so now you have to well, deliver. Well, here's the thing, is that I got psychoanalyzed because I am a theater kid at heart, so I rehearse certain... If I know, like, a, something is, like, it's gonna happen, I rehearse it as the week progresses. So by the time we get to Friday, mm. I am mentally and physically prepared i know exactly what i'm going to say and it's going to be great fabulous so i've been so my, he, hilarious my... has a theory that because i've rehearsed it and i've already felt the emotions i will not give emotion on stream and i do it as a way to protect myself he really psychoanalyzed me and that was a lot to say all at once that tracks that so tracks, i've made though. a <laughs> so i made a promise to them that i have not rehearsed all week and I didn't realize how much I do it until I was consciously telling myself not to. <laughs> I only rehearse one thing, and that is the event of Ellen's death. And if he dies, then I'll have that all planned out in my head. Otherwise, I'm just winging it, because I can't guess what you guys are going to do. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. This is just how I play games. I just make the wrong decisions just to see what happens. Fair enough, fair enough. 
Um, or you get petrified. Anyway. Yes, or that. Hopefully not. We don't actually have anything that can do that on this continent, to the best of our knowledge. Oh, God. <laughs> um, not yet, we don't. Fair enough. I know who knows what chaos you guys will bring. Uh, Sir Wellington, would you like to introduce yourself? That was perfectly hey timed. My arm went up, I'm your Ian. arm came up, and it looked like it was my arm reaching um. into your screen. <laughs> we are become um, one. Right. I'm it Ian. made me jump. <laughs> I play Sir Wellington. Your small sugar induced gnome child, uh, lizard mommy, who knows what I am now, but you know, you're a lot of things. We're, 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 we're here for a good time, not necessarily a long time. So <laughs> let's get, let's get them cookies. Just don't <laughs> toss your cookies. To quote that infamous raccoon, ah, oh, what the hell? I got a short lifespan, anyhow. <laughs> What's his name? Like, Turbo. Oh, Rocket. That's it. I'm kidding. I knew that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't the be- the worst Rocket impersonation, at- impersonation actually. Just kind of proud of that. It was as raspy as I wanted it to be. Okay, um, Marcus? All right. Well, I'm Matt, and known in the game as Marcus, your uh, stereotypical southern youth pastor, uh, cleric, who is constantly trying to keep everyone in check. And the moment he lets up on the leash, they get, te- yeah, they get teleported to weird stuff. Yeah, basically. Like he, you know, basically we're in this predicament because Marcus let Sir Wellington have, like, one thing of freedom and then everything goes wrong. Yep. Hello, Viper, I think. Hello, welcome. Hello. Happening. Viper <laughs> from Kung Fu Panda? Oh, I don't know. It's someone in the chat. I'm just saying hi. What is well, happening? thank you for joining us. Um, what is happening is what we'll go over in just a moment. So now our second most chaotic uh, character, Abigail. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sir Wellington still has you beat. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, then. <laughs> Even after last week? Um, okay. I'll, th- I'll think about it. Thank you. I am last so terrified. <laughs> okay. I am what so happened? fucking terrified. I am Naz. I play Abigail, the Dampier wizard. And she is unhinged and ready to cause <laughs> problems. Ready to cause problems? It's gonna be so weird on the side problems. of the same table. Both. On what side of the what? Of the same table. Oh yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to what it's oh, like my... to be, I guess, Sirith. Oh, it's one of Ian's friends. Hello. Uh, well, thank you for joining That's us. That's my role reversal. Yep, right. You got range. You got range. I'll give you that. Um, okay, so to summarize what you have missed, Selkie, um, I will... Um, okay, yeah. So basically, um, we'll start off kind of to paint the picture. You are training with your brother and um, Kieran. Um... A number of the kids run by and kind of, like, tap your shoulder and let you know someone found a secret treasure room and they're going to go check it out. The same one that I already found? No, this is a new one. Oh. Yeah. Stop binging. I don't want notifications. There we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, it is up to you if you wish to follow or not. Of course I will. Uh, that makes sense. What um, <laughs> Fair enough. You we'll trinkets. it. Right. Uh, you do find, indeed, there's, like, this secret door in the wall, stone wall, that has been opened up, and a number of the kids are in there kind of exploring and checking out um, the armor and the the potions and all this other stuff that's in there, and it seems to be a, a hallway that goes down. It starts out with kind of, like, this potion room, um, and then it, as it goes down, it kind of makes a turn, and it's in this small armory, and then farther beyond that, um, you haven't gone down there, but... Um, you heard someone say they think there's there's like uh, more treasure and like weapons and stuff down there. So as you are going to go in there, um, we will pan over to what happens with Sir Wellington and co that you missed. And that is that Sir Wellington, while exploring, uh, came across this shiny floating orb about the side of it, size of his head. It was just glowing. And he grabbed it to shove it into his... Um, little bag of holding. Uh, only problem was instead, uh, it kind of like sent forth a shockwave and fell on the ground and the light went out. 
And when they stood up, the room, when he stood back up, the room that he was in, well, I guess I should say she, um, was different. It was no longer a run-down old armory. It was nice and cleaned up. Nothing was tarnished. Lights were lit. Um, and Sir Wellington was now a roughly six-foot-tall lizard folk woman. Lady Wellington. <laughs> yeah, Lady Wellington. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> she looked over to see that Marcus had not changed in size, but had changed in armor and uh, species to another lizard folk. Um, and they glanced over at Abigail, who had shrunk into a little female gnome, uh, sorry, female halfling barbarian. Um, her, her, yeah, all her wizard stuff was gone. She was a little barbarian. Um, cool. and as they were in there. I love a tiny tank. Oh, yeah. Small but mighty. Right? I love a tiny tank. And, and I dropped the, uh, I dropped the, sent, sent them their, uh, new character sheets as a result. And... Then this large orc came in, older guy with a big mutton stash beard. It's the one that kind of like uh, Dr. Watson said, where it's like the mustache that then connects up to here. And basically, uh. like, the chin is the only thing that's not covered with, with hair. Um, so, with that, they found out what they were experiencing. Let me just make sure. Chat can hear us, right? I didn't check the audio a moment ago. Uh, yeah, they can hear us. Okay, good. I, ha I have the audio running. Perfect. All right. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to rerun of, I think, session two or three. Or I didn't have the audio running. Um, perfect. I'm glad to hear that. So, the orc came in and told them that there was word of a cult nearby that they had to go investigate. And it seemed insinuated that... <clears throat> Sir Wellington, or Lady Wellington, and Marcus were siblings. Uh, after a decent uh, set of Arcana checks, they figured out that this orb contained memories. And it sort of played it out in like almost a Star Trek-y holodeck method. Where you took on the form of one of the individuals who lived at the time of this memory. Uh, this orb happened to be playing out its last recorded memory. Um, so Callie, as you're out with the others, this shockwave comes through and knocks you down as well. Um, make a perception check as you get up. Wait, what is my perception? <laughs> Five. <laughs> okay. Hey, Everything shit. feels fine. You're good. You're right. good. But you do notice, even with a five perception... The person you were looking up at, you're now looking down at. I'm tall. You are about eight and a half feet tall. I am very tall! And <laughs> yeah! You, and you have a large, bushy beard. Yes! My best, <laughs> my biggest dream has come true! I am massive with a beard! <laughs> Give me the beard! <laughs> Uh, you, you find on your back, strapped to your back is, back, is a large great axe. And everyone else, every other kid in the room has changed as well. All of them look like someone else. And this I'm large orc, well, he's small dream. next to you, but this large orc compared to everyone else, like, barrels through on his way to apparently talk with Sir Wellington and the rest. I have art of the character. Let me send this that to is... you real quick. The best day of my life. <laughs> like, I am big and bushy. I'm massive with a beard and an axe. Yes! <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Oh, listen. Every Nordic bone in my body is, like, giggling. <laughs> this guy was modeled uh, essentially after, kind of after Vikings. Um, to an extent. Fuck yeah. Wait, I was about to say. Now you're just pandering to me, Margo. Actually, I had... Remember a few weeks ago, I said, hey, could you roll a random... What was it, like a d20, I think it was? D7? D6? Something like that? It was something like yeah. that. Yeah. Do you remember why I messaged you after one of the sessions? And I was like, hey, could you roll 
like a D6. You weren't the... Oh, the D8. Yeah. yeah, the D8, yes. That was determining who you would turn into. Um... Oh, so the gods decided that I will be a Viking the dice gods no decided. matter what. Yeah. Yep. Um, I had no hand in that whatsoever. That was purely your dice roll. The gods decided. I had predetermined what As I almost choke on my sunflower seed. That was right? probably really cute. Right? <laughs> um, Sir Wellington's squirrel turned into, like, a large mastiff. Uh, had Kieran been here and been, been in one of the rooms, he actually... Based on his dice roll, he would have turned into a little old uh, gnome wizard. Oh. So, um... Everyone is who they're not supposed to right? be. Right, basically. So, yeah, it, it absolutely glorious and, and chaotic. Um, <sighs> the floor is yours. How do you react to this newfound you? Uh brief panic <laughs> understandably as I'm looking at my spells hold on um yeah huh. brief panic uh we're holding the axe definitely not the way an axe is supposed to be held of course not of course not we have we have never wielded this ever uh. Uh, she's kind of stun locked, and immediately is gonna look around for some kind of familiar face. She's lost and confused now. Fair enough. Uh, there are God no damn. Sorry. <laughs> there are no familiar faces to be found, unfortunately. <laughs> um, make a let's say an intelligence check. Of my new body? No. All mental abilities are still your own. I see. Only physical would be with your new body. Got because, it. Yep. Make because any... your uh, your soul didn't change. Your uh, your body did. Got it. Intelligence check. Rock and roll. My epic plus zero. <laughs> that, br that brings Nine. an interesting question up out of curiosity really quickly. Go for it. Um, because technically speaking, if our brain, like, our knowledge and all that is, like, part of the soul. Wizards are knowledge-based spellcasters. Does that technically mean in that body I could have used all the spells that I had had prepared previously because I am a knowledge-based spellcaster? You know what? <clears throat> technically, you probably could have. The body would have been rather odd to work with, but yeah, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that line of thinking. And um, thanks for making my brain spin. Uh, I needed that today, apparently. <laughs> Naz looks upset that she, that I bring this up now. <laughs> right. Well, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. I'm like, well, it's a little late. You are dead, but like... <laughs> yeah, that happened. That happened. There you go. There you go. Um, Selkie, I just sent you what you now look like. Yeah! <laughs> Big man's! Big man's big axe! He's got a Fuck big yeah. axe. Yeah, oh god. Love a big axe. And thus the, the jokes begin. He has a <laughs> giant can of axe in either hand. <laughs> oh yeah. No, please! It's not no. like a middle school locker room in this bitch, guy. Open right? up a can of whoop axe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Right. No, that, that would be the artificer, because that's chemical warfare. That is true. Right? <laughs> Axe, Axe body spray is definitely chemical warfare and probably banned by the Geneva Convention. You know, probably, probably. But Geneva doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> yeah, and those are more like Geneva suggestions. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, so let's make a note right here. And, um, so after about a minute, you have no idea what's going on with the nine. You can't tell what's going on. Nope. All you know is you're not you and no one else is anyone else. Or maybe you're teleported someone else, somewhere else, or body swapped with someone. You're not sure, but it doesn't make sense. This is clearly where you were a moment ago, but it's also not. 
It's very confusing. Um, after about a minute, you see the orc coming back out with um, three who he refers to as Gukas Kukuka and um, this this gnome. Uh, I keep calling her a gnome. She's a freaking halfling. Um, this halfling <laughs> um, by the name of Laurel Bailey. Um, and <laughs> yes, I did that intentionally. Um, okay. And <laughs> and uh, kind of leads leads everyone out. He kind of starts rallying everyone. Says um, says that there is a cult that is active just down down the hill a ways, um, closer to the coast, and they need to be stopped because they seem to be trying to summon th- something through a portal right away. Someone saw it. And one of the scouts saw it and came back to report. Um, <clears throat> to make a long story short, since so we don't replay basically two sessions. Um, Sorry. <laughs> it is okay. Uh, you guys Me. make your way down to these cultists and engage them in combat. They've opened this portal and there seems to be this strange reptilian fish-like humanoid on the other side of the portal um you heard them chanting the name radna uh radna ubel uh, and some other words in a different language um guys that's not the name of cthulhu start chanting right (laughs) right Uh, (laughs) we want cthulhu guys um and while you guys are engaging with the cultists, a scream is heard, both in your mind and externally, seems to be everywhere and nowhere all at once. Sounds like someone's soul has been ripped from his body, if you could material... Like the it worst, most drawn-out Wilhelm <laughs> scream mine. ever. <laughs> no, yours came a moment later. Um, within a millisecond, practically, of this guy's scream cutting off, numerous orbs begin to appear in the sky and shoot down in in these, like, columns or up, as it may be. It's like these stalactites and stalagmites are growing down out of the air or up from the ground, but they're made of pure magic. And they always end in a large portal through which some seem to be open to levels of the abyss, others to levels of hell. And swarms of demons and devils pour out. Unfortunately for Lady Wellington, one of the focal points of the formation of one of these portals is right where she's standing, and she is torn apart on the atomic level. (laughs) 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 Where we then proceeded to leave off with Sir Wellington finding himself in this realm where it's just him seeming to stand on, like, water that's pitch black and there's just nothing else and then he looks and there's another him but it's also not him looking back at him and they kind of look at each other and they like mimic each other and there's another him but also not him and then there's the lizard folk him who is also of course not him and they all sit down and what you say they all like ate cookies and had a nap well yeah you said cookies materialized and they oh, all they went did. and grabbed some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we were discussing stuff. And yeah, basically, uh, a, 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 what you call it? We, we went to take it. We, they said, oh, we should take a nap and then go and focus on stuff. And so we did. And as we took, How went to take a nap, like, issues. Uh, fog rolled in around us and create like encircled us, and we could hear like whispers of things that happened in the past, things of present, and things of yet to come. Yes, yes, you guys were in the past, present, and future simultaneously. It was a wonderful little experience that I'm sure you. I was at King's mentioned. Cross Station. Also, Mark, <laughs> you make me upset. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Because I know things. Oh, I know you do. You curse me with knowledge. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Uh, yes, that is true. You cursed me with knowledge. Uh. All right. Um. Well, you weren't supposed to eat of the fruit. <laughs> yeah, you I know now. I done planted that tree and watched it come to fruition, and then ate th <laughs> the fruit of my own will. Tis true. Tis true. Um, I reaped the, what I sowed, and now I regret it, and it turned to ash in my mouth. <laughs> so one of the transformed individuals <laughs> revealed himself to be um Albert the, the elven wizard Alberion. Just a little dramatic. It's okay. Um and he let you guys know that you could not die well, I mean you could. So basically if we you are die immortal. in this form, if you, if you die in this form, you just return to your own time. However, because Sir Wellington dropped the orb, it wasn't working properly. And if you die here, you just remain in suspended animation until you pass some con throws, con saving throws in your Fuck. world. Sir Wellington unfortunately wound up Fuck. there, so he's in his nice little mind palace. Um, Fuck, you gave me con saves? <laughs> Fuck! Mark him! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mercer! <laughs> I'm going I'm gonna become the new Travis Willingham and just Mercer! I'll take that. I'll take that. Mark I, I'll start you calling you Travi. No, that's horrible. Uh, hey, listen. <laughs> could be worse nicknames. No, um, no you're gonna go with that. We're gonna just start calling you Navi. Yeah. There hey, we listen. Go. Hey, listen. Uh, <laughs> everyone make perception checks as your characters, obviously. Except for Abby. Do I? You don't Do need I to. also make one? Eh. No, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, that is... Let me get Marcus's character sheet really quick. Wait, so does that mean I could use my spells too, since mine are based in wisdom? Yeah, you could. Ooh. Oh wait, I don't have You're a. Welcome. I don't have a holy symbol though. Crap. So to simplify it for you guys, um, Silky, I sent you the character sheet. You're level fifteen. Yes. I am. Yeah. Uh, oh, I. Fuck didn't... yeah! Right? Isn't that fun? Enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, that is a sixteen. Because I got one shotted. You did. You got one shot in portal. <laughs> Then she like then your atoms got disintegrated. Yeah, <laughs> by a yeah. fucking portal. Um, and by the way, when the when the portals open, this Radna Ubel type points his finger and mutters something, which you guys can't tell because you can't hear things through the his portal or its portal. And all of a sudden, this glow appears around each of these portals that have formed, and they stabilize. So, I also need everyone, including Sir Wellington, to make a history check. Sir Wellington at disadvantage, however. Ooh! Did I participate? But, but, mm. Uh, so... Did, did, history check. Did, 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 what? Did what's-his-name not tell me anything when I was when I was having tea with him? Because I, I saw my friend's house. Yeah, so, 23. Let's see what my, my history Let me is. message you a thing. Oh, yeah. Through one of the portals, you saw your friend's house. I yeah, you about told that. me that. Yeah, I did. They, they, they shot it very quickly, but yep, I saw yep, it. Yep, that was, that was yeah. They, a portal opened to, to this, this his friend's house, and they were like, ah, and whoop, shut their portal. <laughs> Do I also make a history check? Yes. Everyone makes a history check. Um, Yay for history being intelligence based. Right? Uh, 23. Nice. 22. That's a disadvantage? Yeah, got... Holy cow. Oh, disadvantage. Whoops. No, I got a uh, nat 20, 23. Uh, 15 at disadvantage. Okay, okay. 30, so, 20. 20. Sir Wellington, you're not entirely sure what all this means, and maybe it's just not because because you're not from around here. Um, but everyone else, you got a nat 20, uh, 22, you said? And a, what was the last one? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Yeah, so you all remember 
history class, basically. Yeah, Kevin. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for one of you, it's very recent. Like, you're still in middle school, basically. Oh, yeah, this is, like, recent. This is, like, last week. Right? Oh, yeah. Um, I learned this two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, basically. Freshman high school class, whatever. Um, you remember the Attican Cataclysm had this exact thing. There was this scream that was heard by all in the entire realm of Phalon. Um, this entire plane of existence heard this scream, and that was the that was a wizard named Atticus Stardock, who had been captured by a very very powerful demon, and had his soul literally ripped from his body and used to power a sort of a cursed artifact that allowed them to open portals to basically any level of hell and the abyss that they wanted to simultaneously across the entire realm. Um, Atticus actually managed to pull his soul back, and that was why the scream stopped, and that is why the portals stopped forming, and the ones that were there started to steadily destabilize. Well, we know that Atticus wasn't a ginger. Right. <laughs> He's actually a blonde. Um, the, hence the name, the Attican Cataclysm. Um, millions died in this this event as demons and devils were just released across the entire plane of existence. Um, every continent had issues with it. And here, you're getting the idea that whatever these cultists were summoning, and at this point, Callie, you realize you're living out the past in someone else's body. It, it dawns on you at this point. Um... Smart. So that panic can kind of relax a little bit. <laughs> this this being, whatever he uttered, stabilized the portals, and that's why this continent is the way it is. That's why it's completely decimated. Is because everywhere else, after a few minutes, the portals destabilized and collapsed. But here, this guy that the cultist summoned at this perfect moment, almost as if he knew it was going to happen was able to stabilize these portals before closing his own. So now you guys have swarms and swarms and swarms of demons coming. And um, those things I posted, uh, shared with you guys the other day, um, those would they were be... terrifying. Yes, thank you. Um, those would be the demons that, that you guys are dealing with. Um, excuse me. Uh, basically everything from bottom level demons, excuse me, all the way up to very high level, um, in mutates, uh, who are pretty nasty to fight. Um, Selkie gonna, gonna send you that as this comes through the portal and beelines it for your character who has been called by those around him, Borolg. Or Borolg. Um, got a big head, little arms. Yeah, eyes on its arms because that's not at all. Demonic weird. chicken. Right? Eyes. Yeah, there's everything everywhere. It's a nightmare. Um, also with your guys, you guys each made a decent. Eight. It was a perception or an intelligence check. I forget which. Perception. Perception check. Yeah, with your perception check, as you guys begin this combat, it doesn't take long to figure out. The reason why the demons seem to be coming in, the more you kill, the more are coming through the portal, and then you realize when you kill them, they go back to their plane of existence, which is just on the other side of that portal. And they Damn get it, to just come I, right back out again. If only I had that morning star with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> um... So I will allow... Uh, we'll start with, uh, with Callie. Slash Borolg. Um, Hi. Hello. Uh, you have the, the Borolg's character sheet there. Um, I will give Smash. you uh, <laughs> an opportunity to... It's, oh, you're just going to punch him? <laughs> All right. You I got a big old axe. Punch the demon. <laughs> yeah, I got a big old axe. What, damn, what am I going to do with this big old axe? <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to smash. Pass. 
I'm a fucked up human being. It's okay. Small cash. <laughs> 21 to hit. That, I do believe, hits? Alright, now I need to pull up those things. Uh, yes, that. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a fun demon. There we go. Uh, that does hit, yes. Great. Nine. Nine. Nine points of damage. It looks like you wait, nicked him. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay. Let's put a smite into it. Unintentional oh, smart. smite. Smart. <laughs> unintentional smite. And because it's unintentional smite, we're just going to use a one, one, one smite slot. Give me a smite slot. Then we're going I might to... be able to do that for you. <laughs> yeah. Give me my D8. We. Oh wait, is this an undead or fiend? Oh, it's a fiend, all right. It's a fiend. Get an another D8 in there. Smash. All right. Uh, it's an additional 14 points of damage. Noise. Give me all the damage points. And then I need to. Well, I cannot cast in this spell slot. Whatever, I'll keep track. I guess because it's not my character. There's something weird it. working with the Einstein characters. That the spell slots don't always work properly, and I don't know why that is. Come on now, Beyond. Come on, pick your shit. Uh, and then, uh... All I can again. say is it's beyond me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's 25 to hit. That hits. Uh, more unintentional smites. Lego. Oh, it's not nearly as good. Oh, wait. I need my d12. That's not nearly as good. <laughs> um... 10, 16. Hmm. 16 total points of damage for that one. And do I have any bonus actions? I probably do. Probably. I think that's a safe bet. I think I do. What are you? I am me. <laughs> and you Sometimes are you. I am her. Um. <laughs> If I use spiritual weapon now, can I attack with it? Okay. Yeah, I, that sounds reasonable. <sighs> okay. I will cast spiritual weapon because I want to hit it again, and I'm a monk, and I'm used to hitting things very fast. So mentally, I want to hit it again, and then this spiritual weapon comes out of nowhere. It'll probably... I don't know. This is the past. I don't know what this thing looks like. You don't know what? Oh, the spiritual weapon? The spiritual weapon. It's it's, it's a large, like, Nordic-looking axe. Spectral Fuck axe. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I was Hell so yeah. happy when I saw that you rolled for the Viking. I was like, <laughs> this is this could not have been more perfect had I specifically wished it to be. Um, ah, I was delightful. thrilled. Okay. The gods have decided you are Viking. You are Norse. Hey, man, I've got enough Viking characters. Might as well be. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is my thing? Target on the hit. That's melee spell attack. Okay, 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 okay. Numbers are numbers. Numbers are numbers are numbering. Numbers Number are numbering! Numbers. numbers, numbers, numbers. Business. 22 to hit. That hits. Great. Is one D eight plus one. That is seven. All right. 
Bonk. Another bonk. Uh, you've battered this thing pretty well. You've dealt a lot of damage to it. Yeah. That's all I got. All right. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, now this thing gets a turn. All right. See this wonderful thing. All right. Uh, we get. Okay, so the first thing it does is cast, ooh, yes, all right, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Well, actually, it'll do that at the end of its turn. So, first thing it's going to do is it uses its three arms. It, like, rears back and then strikes with all, uh, all three of its arms. Um, the first one here, I'm going to be reusing real dice tonight. This will be fun. That's a d12, darn it. No, it's okay. You can go ahead and use a d12. I can't roll high enough to hit you with a d12. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> There we go. All right. Well, the first one's a miss anyhow. Um, oh, never mind. Big, it's got a plus big, six to hit. Um, does an 18 hit? Beats it, beats it. Oof. All right. And now I need the smaller dice. All right. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. One second. I feel like I'm about to start hiccuping. I'm trying to keep it from happening. Okay, hiccups suppressed. You're not a fish. You are not a fish. You are not a fish. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, I'm saying it. <laughs> we only hiccup because of we. our brains are so oh. wired to think that we have gills and it doesn't work <laughs> for your gills. No. Have are breathing air so you have to physically remind yourself that you are not a fish and That's then it's okay and then you don't oh, it anymore <laughs> it works don't knock it it works wait is that true uh, yes <laughs> no it's not i feel like it is it's not true it's a taste but it works. knife clinique <laughs> uh, but it works <laughs> fair enough um could you make a constitution saving throw real quick fuck constitution <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna get me with a fucking constitution. Fuck me. You well, think wait. after playing with me for a year, you'd realize that I do a lot of you constitution You made this saves. character, Markham. I'm <laughs> fucked either way. No, no, no. You don't use that character sheet. You get to use your own. Remember? All mental abilities, uh, constitution, well, wisdom, etc. Yeah, I get to replace body? my level 15 paladin with my level 4 monk. Yeah. Wait, isn't <laughs> that's constitution... Not as, that's not as comforting as, it, as you can okay, to make it seem. So I that didn't... knocks me down. That knocks me down from an eight to a six. I apologize. (laughs) Question. Isn't constitution part of the body where it's like, you know, resisting poisons, resisting sickness? That's all part of your body. Oh, you're right. Yeah, never mind. You can use the, uh, you can use the the Goliath's dice. (laughs) Eight. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So you you feel this stinger, one of its arms reaches up and shapeshifts into a stinger and stabs into you. And you take, hang on, how much damage was that? Yeah, as long as you don't get one shotted like I did, you you're done better than. <laughs> yeah, me. you're not being ripped oh, apart. Oh wait, the wait, 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 wait. I'm waiting. Nine. Yay! No, still no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just saw the little thing that said I get a plus one on saves. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Yep. No. No. Still no. So you take twelve Damn. points of damage and find yourself. Poisoned really? as the poison seeps into you from this stinger attack. Um, I still cannot change anything about this character, so I'm going to be so confused. Where's... It, yeah, that's a that's a glitch, I think. 
It is okay. I think I have a way to bypass that anyhow. Um, yeah, no, go away, Bajor. We're going to use you tomorrow. <laughs> I just hit install update. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. I'm very well prepared. Fuck it. Word document. Let's go. Be Let's go. All right. So he said 15. Mm hmm. And I'm now poisoned. Where's my calculator? You got a lot of help. How good to later. Could you, could you and Matt both make uh, perception characters as your regular characters when you get the chance? Yes. Perception characters or perception, perception checks? checks. Yes. Perception checks. I, got... I just can't speech tonight. To yay. <laughs> can't Woo! speech tonight. Yeah, Woo! that that's a that's apparently apparent. Perception. Uh, that is a eighteen. Sixteen. All right. Who's going to die? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened with Albarion and the whole, like, orb thing? I forgot so what happened. So, with that. that, you see Albarion finish fixing the orb and then pass it over to Abigail. However, they are, they are struck by an onslaught of lower-level demons, and Abigail fumbles it and drops it, and it cracks again. God damn it. Albarian Marcus quickly... <laughs> what? Marcus just sees this and just shouts in the lizard voice. What in the <laughs> fucking hell are you doing? Um, Albarian quickly picks it up and begins trying to repair it. And Abigail blasts a spell that causes the undead to kind of... Uh, uh, the, the demons and everything to kind of back away and form a little circle around her and it's like they can't get through this little barrier to her. And she stands there over Albaron while he works on it. <laughs> However, um, her spell seems to fail after a uh, number of seconds and they come swarming back in. Um, Albarian takes a hit to the back of the head and goes down. And Abigail fix up, picks up the, the orb and begins trying to repair it herself. Okay, is there... Any freaking holy symbol that uh, not Marcus can grab? Uh, with your, I mean, I'm sure there. Uh, eighteen. I mean, yeah, there's one that like the little old goblin is over there using, and she's fighting with it. Yeah, she's she's using it to cast some some rather holy style spells. <laughs> Please go smack your your companion over the back of the head and steal a holy symbol <laughs> from a little goblin. I, I, I'm just debating whether. Mar I mean, to be fair, it's. I mean, to be fair, it could be actually someone from the present who's trapped in the body of a past person. But then again, it could just be a past person that's just gonna die anyway. Ah, uh, this is a conundrum. It is indeed. <laughs> They're either gonna die anyways, either way. So it's like whatever, man. Well, I while, guess. while you're deciding what to do, um, Selkie, uh, do do twenty ones and twenty threes hit. Uh huh. All right, all right. Um, you take a total of uh thirty one points of fire damage and are on fire. Um, no. I'm poisoned and on fire. Yes, God, you this, are. This, this is the okay, gas station gets, waiting to happen. It gets better. Could you please Does it? do me a favor? Hmm. I, I can't roll both an intelligence saving throw and a wisdom saving throw and a constitution saving throw. <laughs> so, okay. What kind of spells does he have? Because he still does uh, have like a. 13. Well, now you ruined the fun, Ian. Uh huh. 42 saving throws later. Do me a favor and make a wisdom <laughs> saving throw, please. Yay! This one With will who? be as Callie. Callie's. Yep. Plus two. Let's go. Eleven. You lose control of your body as you begin cracking up in a fit of laughter. That oh, was no. uh, Tasha's hideous laughter. This thing has the innate ability to just cast spells. Wow, um, I didn't know Tasha existed at this point in time. <laughs> you mean to tell me I am poisoned, <laughs> on fire, 
and uncontrollably laughing. Yes. I am Heath Ledger. Joker. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> like, like even the demons are backing up. Like, what the freak's wrong with this I am guy? a Viking Joker. Yeah. I will yeah. not go down. <laughs> this freaking eight and a half foot tall Goliath is cracking up as he's like twitching with pain and his body is just on fire. I am Both outside mother. and in between the fire and the poison. Also, I also want to point out that being on fire is a weird sensation for Callie. Oh, <laughs> Shush. good point. She's <laughs> used to being immune. Oh my gosh, good point. He's feeling the pain of being burnt for the right? first time ever. That's She's true. Like, oh, Shush. this is what it feels like. Oh, oh, it's not gosh. normal to be on this fire. Fucking oh, sucks. you missed. So, yeah, Abigail has been struggling to breathe. Because <laughs> yeah. she's yeah, not used to needing to breathe. Because damn peers don't need to breathe. <laughs> so so yeah, every now and then you're like, <gasps> like, oh yeah, I need to do that. Oh, it's like whenever you walk upstairs and you forgot to breathe the entire time, exactly. and you get to the top, and you're like, <gasps> look cool, look cool, don't don't look like you're dying inside. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically. So every now and then, like as Abigail is now trying to finish what Alberian started and repair this orb, she'll just start gasping for air like she's dying. <laughs> it's like, oh no! And she's like, <sighs> it's like, oh, she just forgot to breathe. That's all. <laughs> okay, so how many, how many uh, undead or whatever are around her <laughs> right now? Like how many? Are we talking about the granny or? Naz, uh, Naz, at this point, I am way my thousands. Out. They are literally starting to climb over her because there are too many. In fact, they keep trampling each other, and the ones that get trampled die, go back to their own plane, and then come right back through the portal again and start trampling another one. Oh, this is World War Z level shit. Oh yeah, that no, yeah, they're World climbing Z over each other. Because okay, it's how getting many backed up as they're getting killed? They then go back through the portal and come right back out again, and they're starting to like spawn on top of each. It's like when you're playing a video game; the, the villains are just glitching out, and they're like a bunch of them on top of each other. And you're like, that guy's inside the other guy. How'd that happen? <laughs> okay, well, how much are by the one granny? Demon really loves another demon. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> you there's... get Dante and Virgil. <laughs> there's there's a tab for that. Oh there my is. gosh. But yeah. yeah, how many are around the granny? Not many, actually. She seems to be keeping them at bay with her holy symbol. She's actually working her way over towards one of the portals. Okay. Uh... I want you all to be a part of the culture shock that I'm just experiencing right now is feeling this, like, demonic battlefield happening while I'm listening to Sweater Weather. I love <laughs> it. I love that. <laughs> So, is it possible at all to tell whether or not Super the granny dumb. is possessed by someone who currently was in the present? Roll a... Let's say insight check. Okay. Uh, what is my insight? Oh, just insight, yeah. Oh, I actually have a decent theme for that. Uh, that is I an... Know. Un that is an unnatural 20. As far as you can tell, this e person either is very adaptable to this new body, or this is the original granny. Okay, if it's the original granny... Uh, she's dead anyway. I'm gonna try and steal it. Steal the holy symbol. Okay, um, are you doing this by brute force strength, or by cunningly sneaking? I don't think Marcus would know how to cunningly sneak, so it would definitely be strength. Shoulder check the old woman. Okay. <laughs> Listen, <All right>. <laughs> shoulder check. Curve checkings. stomp her. <laughs> yeah, let's God. just do it. Not curve stomp, but like, yeah, just rip it out of her hand. Basically. Shoulder check her. Fair enough. Knock her to the ground. Um, Make a strength check. All let's right. oppose it with this little old lady and see how this goes. I don't know if it's going to go well. Callie is slowly uh, becoming less and less the most chaotic. Like you're 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 working your way towards the least chaotic at this rate. <laughs> Cause uh, someone's I gotta just, be. I mean, despite I gotta... the fact that you're on fire outside and in and laughing hysterically, like it's the greatest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got a nineteen. So that is a twenty-four in yeah, strength. Yeah, no, you uh, obliterated her four. Um. She turns and goes, Gukash, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. 
She's Sorry. a goblin, by the way. She's a goblin. She's this yeah. ancient. Oh, Think oh, female Yoda. You just shoulder yeah. checked. <laughs> you just shoulder checked Yaddle. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Stop it. He's, he's she just goes gonna look. flying backwards and like lands in a heap. A demon starts like, up Yaddle. at her. And she oh just, my like, god. Pushes You're a bad away. person. Stands he's her not even. Of, like, <laughs> He's not even thinking at this point. He just grabs it and goes to toward uh, Naz as much as, uh, not Naz. I mean, yeah, Naz. I Abigail as much as he can. And he is going to use his channel divinity to turn undead. I think I only have turn undead, right? Yeah. I don't have destroy undead. Is the holy symbol yet. your holy symbol? Uh, it just There's says... a lot of gods. Mm. Um, he I looks will, down I as one of the demonic ones he destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, let's not. You do, do that. recognize? You do recognize the god on this one? It is. Uh, well, I can't spoil that because either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to be releasing my full pantheon. Um, so yeah. I'm very excited for that. Been working on that for the last week, solid. Week and a half. Um, All right. So, yeah, it's one of the gods in the Pantheon. It's not yeah. one of the original <laughs> gods, but it is It is a god in the Pantheon. Um, and okay. you're able to, you are able to cast a spell. And so you you put the focal point of it on Naz then? Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, he's going to run up. Uh, and as he's moving toward her, he's going to cast uh, Turn Undead because... Hold on, let me get it up really quick. Sorry. No worries. Because when he does that, uh, any undead creature within 30 feet of me has to make a Wisdom saving throw. If they fail... It is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. So basically, uh, as he's run up and doing this, any that fail to save, try to run away from him as fast as possible, can't take reactions, and it can't willingly move within 30 feet of me. So really? I cast it, and then, yeah. All right, so as they're like parting like the Red Sea as you're making your way over to Naz... Uh, to, to Abigail. Um, you do make it there. I am going to need, however... Okay. One second. Uh, no, not you. Wait, do I have Destroy Undead, or is that till later? I think that's till later. Let me double check. Oh, yeah, no, that's not till 5th uh, level. So, yeah, it's just Turn Undead. Alright. There it is. Got to scroll down now. All right. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> right? I really hope you use that again when you're around Abigail in the real world. I know. <laughs> and that right? Abigail just has to start running away from you. I don't know if she counts as undead, but she does have necromancy. So she's going to, like, I her mean, main attacks are going to be like... Don't, be yeah, they actually don't count as undead, though. They? Yeah. they don't. They, they don't count as either. Oh. That would be really funny. <laughs> that would be stupid. Only we say she's like drunk. mildly averse, like she yeah. doesn't like it. You, that would Marcus be funny. comes in and you're just like, you just have this. She ever just, uh, I don't. Yeah. Like this. Can we say that she like hates well, it? Well, you you already have that with him, so yeah. yeah but it's like... <laughs> so it's like, hey, now it just becomes just, intense. It's just but, more intense now. Yeah. It's like. It's like he snuck up on you and tickled your ear without you knowing. Right. So yeah, I will say, water. yeah. At this point, you would have about half your health left. Um, the battle's okay. been going on for a hot minute. You've been being swarmed by these lower level demons that you've been fighting off. Um, yeah. I'd say you've taken maybe. Let me roll real quick. Let's oh see. dear. <laughs> I don't want to have multiversal talks with myself. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm so afraid of what Yeah, you only took 33 me. points of damage. Okay. Only. Only. You're fine. Thank the gods. Um, that being said, as you're running, 
Could you do me a favor? Oh no. That being said. No. Our favorite no. phrase. No. No. <laughs> Could you do me a favor? No. And and make a deck save. Oh. Show me your decks. Okay. Oh. Show me your, show me your decks. Pick. Oh. Yes. <laughs> this is this is your uh, this is the this is Gukosk's save. That is this is body. Yeah, that is a freaking twenty three. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll, yes. I'll send a dex pick to chat. Hell thank yeah. You. Show me your dex. <laughs> show me your dex. I would say thank you, Jesus, but Jesus ain't a part of this. So. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. You only take half damage, which is very good. Um, <clears throat> um, as you... Holy cow. Okay. Um, there we go. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Nice decks, bro. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on stream is going to be so confused. <laughs> right? Well, I I don't think... I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can... I can Are you sure send you unsolicited decks, decks picks? I can... Uh, no, they were no, no, asked for, so they, they were It was consensual, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I asked, I asked for it, so it was consensual deck stick sharing. Okay. So, none of you guys asked them, so I did kind of, in a way, also. That's ah, fine. <laughs> I'm used to deck sticks all the time. Okay. Um... <laughs> um... <clears throat> it is swarming. You... There we go. I got possessed by the spirit of Laura Bailey. Hold on. Right. Um, <laughs> take, uh, can can oh, you take? You. <laughs> can you take sixty-five points of uh, of lightning damage as a bolt strikes down, strikes you in the back? And that's halved. Wait, that's half? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm <laughs> down at that point. I had sixty-four. Oh. Ha, how's it feel now? <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Um. Abigail, you see Marcus running over, demons parting, and all of a sudden he just gets fried from behind. Standing right behind him is little greeny Harwallen, the, the goblin, with her arm outstretched. She hobbles over, grabs her holy symbol, yes. says, making her way back towards the portal. Yes, Granny, love okay. Yaddle. You, know, you could have For taken 130 friends. points of damage there. Um, good Freaking job on the, the save. <laughs> Wait, what, oh what, what was that at? What? Ninth level. What, what? She's a she's a level twenty wizard. Holy shit! <laughs> she was up to with a vengeance. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, Gukosk. Here. <laughs> she's yeah. like, what the heck? He just stole my. He knows I need that. You know, he's probably let possessed. this be a lesson Boom. to everyone. She knows she never can rob holy you. symbols off of Yaddle. Right. <sighs> On the bright side, she knows so. In her mind, if this was What's like the actual past, she knows that she can resurrect you again, like in the morning. As long as, like, you oh, know, no. your body isn't completely destroyed, she can just bring you back. She's like, from oh, being good struck by lightning. Later. He's going to yeah. be charred as hell. He's going to look like Vader. He's going to look <laughs> like Anakin at the end of episode three. <laughs> that man is extra crispy. <laughs> like just KFC. A... <laughs> like. So. So now you have experienced death. Um, you find yourself in the same place, Marcus. Oh, okay. you get no death save. You just die. Yeah, the, yep, the, the water that you're standing on and you're looking at it, it's just darkness. You're like, just there. <laughs> you walk oh, forward. But there's nothing. It's just you. Uh, hello? There anybody here? Shit, am I in limbo? <laughs> Hello? Oh, no. Anyone? Hot twist, you followed the wrong god. <laughs> <laughs> I know, some of now you're just gods, here. though. I swear, are like brutal. But no, <laughs> he's gonna... I am a god. <laughs> uh, he's gonna try... Because I assume he's in some version of his actual body, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, he's you're yourself again. Okay, so there would be like a sort of pseudo holy symbol of Kalyadne. So he's gonna clasp that thing as hard as he can and just start praying like Kalyadne. I don't know what the hell is happening, but I need some help. 
or from that mm-hmm. other one goddess I can never say the name of, please. <laughs> I just need some help right now. Fair enough, fair enough. And uh, while you're doing that, um, we return to Callie. Callie, um... Hi. I'm on fire. You are on fire. <laughs> um, and poison. I think fire. you need to pass a wisdom save to stop laughing. You do. A wisdom save to stop laughing? Yes. And this is Callie's wisdom. Yes. Great. I mean, at least, she, at least it's Callie's wisdom. Monk and everything. Hey, um, 16? That passes it. You you managed to gain control. We stop giggling. Yeah, you're, right. you're, which is arguably scarier because you're laughing hysterically while on fire and this poison's flowing through your veins, and all of a sudden you just stop. <laughs> that is terrifying. Yeah. So, so now is going to become the question where I become the problem. Is we're mean? feeling heat for the first time. So, and as a glass blower, she knows. Whenever something gets very hot, you need to chill it very rapidly to solidify. Okay. So. Can I use armor of Agathis to put myself out? Because that is just cold. I would allow that, yeah. Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So. I'm going to cast armor of Agathis, which is going to give me... Temporary hit point. Where's my word document? Oh. So I am no longer on fire. Check that one off. I'm now just chilly, which is also the first time she's experiencing cold. Um, she's been at an easy breezy, like 85 degrees. <laughs> <her whole>. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you've never even known what it's like to feel cold. Nope. <laughs> All new experiences in the same day. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> um, I'm traumatizing her by the moment. Um, okay. You're experiencing, so now we're just poisoned. You're experiencing hot and cold. I experienced death. Yeah. I experienced life. You just... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's a bunch of new experiences That's for everyone. That's things for yeah. everyone. <laughs> Sir Wellington got and to experience Sir Wellington got to experience boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus, actually, yeah, Marcus, you, didn't really, you got a tail. That's your that's your big news. Yeah. You got a tail. He got death. Experience died. Yeah. That's... He got death. I got life. Sir Wellington got boobs. And death. Kelly got the win-win situation death, for everyone. But, like, come on. Right. Um, okay. And I got a mastiff. Also, you got that's a dog. True. Yeah, that's true. The dog's still out there. Dog hasn't gone down yet. <laughs> Actually, I need a roll to see if the dog gets, goes down. <laughs> Actually, uh... <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. This is a dog in an army of demons. Okay, never mind. The dog's dead. <laughs> All of a sudden, this squirrel materializes on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Just why am I sh- why am I sharing limbo with with Snickers? <laughs> right. He is your familiar. familiar. Yeah. yeah, but my familiar is from a like a different plane of existence as a different entity than me. It's a good question. Why why is Snickers in in your limbo with you? I'm, if I'm gonna wake up in limbo and look down and see Sna- like three different versions of Snickers all curled up with us, one Mastiff version. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I like that better. The massive version of Snickers appears on your shoulder. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, no, beca- because if Lizard Mom I- is there with us as well, then that would just like, in uh, for argument's sake, then Mastiff version of Snickers should also be there. Yes, with the two, yes. with one of the squirrels and you're sitting all on. You're just having a Shadow Link moment. You yes, Mastiff. <laughs> but our Shadow Link moment is us all in a big. Uh, cuddle puddle napping. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden there's a squirrel and a mastiff that join the party. Cuddle. Hey, have you ever cuddled a mastiff? They're very They're cuddly. very They're cuddly. very cuddly. They're like yeah. a couch. But hey, there's nothing to me, so that means I am the... Uh, what is it like? You're lonely in the whole world. There's <laughs> <Yeah>. only you. <laughs> it's like... It's like... Uh, it's like American Chavez <laughs> in Multiverse of Madness. There's only one of me yes. throughout the whole multiverse. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. I will say, after a moment, you see three kind of stone 
pathways rise out of the water. One going straight forward, one going to the right, and one going to the left. Uh, and you hear a voice you've never heard before saying, Get real close. Did it work? Um, is my audio swallow, working? Swallow the mic. There we go. Okay, uh, there we go. It's back. Deep throat it. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, you hear a voice you've never he heard before saying, your skills. The day may come when you will have to choose a path. I hate this voice. I'll have to do something. See this we, shit? If we try it like this, there we go. So it's apparently Bane speaking. And the voice says, You may have adopted the dog, but I was born in it. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Mickey Mouse in the Bane mask. Right? I know. He'll, he'll just think, What kind of weird voice is that? Does he have something on his mouth? <laughs> I think he's like uh, talking um, to a fish. I had to clear my throat first. <laughs> the day will come that you must choose. Now it's now it's Kylo Ren. Have you seen my grandfather's mask? Um, <laughs> the day will come when you must choose a path. Choose wisely, for there is no going back. Oh, wait a second. Who are you? What what is this? What what kind of path are you talking about? Oh, you. Dad, is that you? Marcus, Marcus becomes Kazoo Kid. I don't know what's going on. I, Marcus, like, wait a minute. Who are you? (laughs) Okay, to go. I I don't know who said it, but to go with the dad thing, he does momentarily think it's his uh, father, and he gets worried. Then it's like, wait a minute, that's not my dad's voice. (laughs) (laughs) You're not my dad. You're not my dad. Wait, wait wait a second. You're not my dad. What the hell? Why are you in my head? Um, Callie, why are you what, what, what are you why are doing? in my head? I know you ain't. Dead. Um, uh, I'm going, I feel the emphasis of poison, and we're going to tap face, get us out of this, and we're going to do a brief lay on hands, and I'm going to use the five to cure a uh, neutralized poison. Good job. You successfully do that. Boop, 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 boop. I still can't touch put the button. You get to add buttons. a little. I get rid of my poison, and now I've got only seventy in my pool of lay on hands. Mm. I'm just confused at this point. <laughs> when did I turn into an, an- anime main character? Hello. Uh, Hello your Jackie. voice started to get that intensity to it. <laughs> okay, so now, since I don't know spells and I don't know that I can cast spells, I'm just doing all this by by guesswork. Your instinct. By instinct alone, right. I am hot. Now I want to be cold. Suddenly, I am cold. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle memory. Right. Yeah. This, that's, this that's, is that's just... how we explain me with my bow. Yeah. And how the body I knew how to of... shoot a bow, and he kind of was like, "Well, I guess I can do a, a bow now." It yeah. is and like how... riding a bike. Can't yeah, and how Marcus just did like <laughs> freaking uh, not second win, but the other thing fighters do. Yeah. Uh, just at the beginning, because he was terrified. so. Am going ah. to whack with my great axe. Nice for twenty six to hit. All right, that hits. Sweet. I am going to unintentionally. Where's my word document? Use up the left last of my first level smite slots. We're gonna get my three d eight and a d twelve. Can we do other things? Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, okay. We'll do this first and then I'll do that. Woo! Team. Team. 22 points of damage. Nice. Um, and then, whoa, don't want to save it, don't want to save it, don't want to save it. Hmm. Friend shared with me random memes, so I will share with y'all now. Ah. All the memes. No, we're going to use it now, because why the fuck not? I need this thing to bring... To uh, fail me a wisdom saving throw. 
You need it to save, make a wisdom saving throw? Yes. All right. Um, I, what's your DC? 14. Oh, that fails. All right. I am now super scary. This demon is now scared of me. How much? The channel divinity for conquering presence. Beautiful. How much damage did you do to the, uh, to it when you attacked? 22. Oh, how do you want to kill it? Oh, I'm not even going to waste my channel divinity then. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, you can do so, that and every other demon in the area basically can become afraid of you if they fail. I think, right? Is that how that works? No, it's for one target. Oh, okay. Well, you can choose another target to do it then. Oh, chosen creatures within 30 feet. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm scary. Perfect. So all the Fear demons. the giant man! All the demons. Um, they are afraid of you. Fear me! So, how, Callie, this chaotic fireball, not so chaotic fireball, is going to kill this thing, is she's going to swing her axe as if she's swinging her bow staff and cleave it right through the mouth and laterally bisect it. Nice. It's got a big old mouth. That's a big old target. And because she's massive, she's gonna swing it like she does her bow staff, and just out of habit. And nice. just because she is massive and huge and able to. Nice. All right. And now I'm scared. And then another demon that's nearby is gonna get whacked with my fucking spiritual weapon. Whack get all the demons. Good. Get, get whacked. Get simply smacked. effect. Simply effect. Get, get whacked, whacked, son. Ready? Oh Ready for the weapon store? Go weapon for it. stick. That was super cock. 16. That hits? Great. What am I rolling? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of is this? Just like wait a bit. Um, things off over you there. You're you're using um Borog's character sheet for this attack. I am yes. Whack on, whack off. Hey, max damage, which is nine. Nice. Yes. What did you do last session? We whacked off some demons. <laughs> no. <laughs> whacked off some demons. I've, I've had they died. Certain. They died from it. <laughs> <laughs> Gave them such a good whacking that they died. <laughs> good or bad whacking? That depends. <laughs> That's for me to know. And hopefully not for you to find out. I don't no want one will find out. <laughs> Just like no. the secret anime. <laughs> Just like the secret anime. <laughs> Hashtag Gosh. secret anime. That that should be our <laughs> hashtag now. Hashtag secret anime. <laughs> hashtag secret right. anime. It, by the end of the campaign, people can guess what my secret anime was, and I'll tell people who's right or who's wrong. And whoever <laughs> gets it right wins. Yes. They get the satisfaction <laughs> of winning. Right. They get the sax the satisfaction <laughs> of knowing they were right. Yep. yep. Which, to be fair, can be satisfaction all by itself. Fair enough. Especially when there's a bunch of people that are wrong. Yep. And it'll be really funny to see what people think the anime that I know, that regret right? Is. That'll be really well, fun. You're not gonna that get, I like... regret. Not that I regret. That I watched in high school that I wasn't supposed to. Food Wars. Mm. No. I actually <laughs> have never watched Food Wars. Nah. <laughs> uh... I haven't either, really. I've seen a bit. I've, <laughs> I've seen the to, first but... four episodes, and I had to stop because I was uncomfy. I yeah, I walked in to someone else watching. I was like, "All right," and then that's why I've seen a bit. <laughs> I watched Berserk wholeheartedly. Oh, I love Berserk. But Bizarre. Food Wars made me uncomfy. <laughs> I really want to. Watch. I'm gonna watch that as soon as I get off of this session now. Oh my god! Gonna gosh. watch Food Wars. <laughs> no. I will say, as a cook, 
I really like Food Wars. It's great, That's but true. it's so uncomfy. That's true. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. The I I will say it's it I would follow all those the, uh, recipes if they made a book, a cookbook, I would use it every day. With all with how they do the the uh the uncomfy areas i don't mind it because they don't discriminate they do it to everyone <laughs> that's <laughs> fair. true it is very liberal uncomfiness <laughs> the fact that's that in funny. like what is it episode two or three there's a bunch of old dudes that they do it to as well that's, it's yeah <laughs> it is dubbed on hulu that is my watch party after this anyway <laughs> um all right where did we Leave off. I'm completely. You were attacking lost. Selkie. You're, she was. Uh, Selkie was attacking. Oh yeah, people. I'm attacking it's the time demon. For me to get she hit. was whacking the demon. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm whacking okay, off the demon. so. You... <laughs> no. Um. Just gonna glide past that one. Um. Pretend that my brain is still functional. Uh. Um. Selkie, since you are still up, you look around and find that like, so many are down. It is Kill the not Viking. Good. Do it. I dare Wiped you. Out. Um, you witness Belinda Greeny Harwollen go up and she like raises the holy symbol and she utters something and prepares some, a spell with her other hand and blasts this large portal and it begins to seal and she gets blown back. You, you do as well. Just a bit. Actually make a strength check. You can use the big guys. Strength saving throw. <laughs> Whoa! So slow! So slow! Now, is it a saving throw or check? It's a saving throw. Always it gives it gives you more, boost, a bigger boost if you use a saving throw. <laughs> Ow. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. <laughs> yeah, my brain was short circuiting. <laughs> I rolled a thirteen. Everyone's brain is short circuiting six, today. Plus one, and for some reason, my brain was like. <laughs> you very much save you like demons and this goblin and a whole bunch of other, like they're flying back as this portal collapses in on itself um but you just stand firm i am yes um at this point ooh, sweet uh you just sir wellington just got inspiration um at this point an arc devil comes through you don't necessarily know that. You just know that this guy seems a little bit more put together. He's got pitch black skin and large wings, and his hands just gently clasped like so in front of him, just holding it very calmly, and he walks through the portal as the chaos is raining around. He's this little piece of serenity. And he looks over, and he just points and says, You need to die. And you have... Oh no. I know what's going to happen. No more health. <laughs> it's it's power word kill. Or disintegrate. I got... Two. I got... <laughs> health isn't. <laughs> oh, Deleted. Dear. Oh dear. Yeah, no. Um, You instantly uh -huh. feel your insides begin to like contort as you just collapse to the ground and die. Health is delete a kiss. Health is delete a kiss. word kill. I get no save, I no nothing. I it. Nope, it just happens. <laughs> cool, just death. Yep. Um. Neat. Abigail, can you make that intelligence check for me? Intelligence check. <sighs> yes. Yes. Oh yeah, can I ask the voice who the, like, after this, can Marcus ask the voice who the hell he is? Yeah, I mean, I presumed he did right away, and it's just yeah. silence after that. The voice says that one thing, and that's it. Of course. <laughs> what? 19. 19? Sorry, I cut you off. No, go ahead. 19. 19? You, you managed to fix the, um, you managed to fix the, uh, orb. Orb. You managed to fix the orb. Um, or you think you did. Um, as you're sitting there scrambling and trying to fix it, um, something comes up behind you and strikes at you from behind. 
And Abigail just goes down because I've been, we talked last week and. Uh... Okay. So, okay. That's still, that's still all right. Yeah. You're good. Okay. Cool. Um, so Callie, you find Hi. yourself in this room of darkness and you're walking on this pitch black water. Don't trust I'm a fire Nazi. And you see a fire <laughs> appear in the distance. Like a candle? Like a campfire? Like a campfire. Like, like a bonfire. Oh. Uh. Comfy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I, uh, I didn't watch that one all the way, but my friend did introduce me to that one. <laughs> Sorry, well, he just has been lit, and so that means I get to go collect my souls again, right? That's how this game works. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just like that. Of course. Yeah. Then it's wait, fun. what do I get? <laughs> Side of grace or lantern? <laughs> I just got paths. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go towards the bonfire. No matter how long you travel towards it, it still seems just as far away. I'm fast as fuck, boys. Let's go running. Does not seem to change. It always seems just as far away. Could each of you... I need each of you to roll constitution saving throws for me. Ah, you as well. Damn it. As your characters, not as... Yes, you as well. Me too? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, that is a... What is my constitution? 22. All right. Not 20. Hey! So that's a 23. Uh, that is a 21 for me. Nice. That's a five, six. A six. Yes. Okay. Ow. You're still stuck in your head running. Marcus and Sir Wellington, all of a sudden, you find yourselves back in that room. Whatever you're doing, you're laying there with your the other yous. You're, you're ta asking who the voice is, and all of a sudden, you're back in that grungy, old, ruined armory. Do like, we wake up at the same In the same, same time? position, or... No, like... Sir Wellington gets to wake up a little bit before, since he was there first. <laughs> Do you wake up in what? Like, in the same position we were in, or like, yeah, down on the ground? the same position you, you... The same position you were in when Sir Wellington first dropped the ball. Okay, so Marcus was looking at the new armor you were about to send me that he got. Yeah, yes. same. <laughs> oh, yeah, I still need to do that. Yeah, yeah. please. Send, and a shield, too, because he's looking for armor and a yep, shield. Armor and a shield. Boy needs to be prepped now. Uh, <clears throat> so I, I pop up. Overall. I look around quickly, see everyone's down, and get this giant Ev grin. Everyone's still there. They're just standing like, no, glassy-eyed. I know. I, I see that, but I see that. Yeah. I cast Silent Image, and, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna cast a sprawled out Wellington, just kind of like. Can you make a perception check for me as well while you do that? Yeah. These are not good strong suits, so let's see so what I get. Some tomfoolery is what's gonna be happening. Some shenanigans. Fine. I rolled a nine. You rolled a nine. Yeah. Hmm. All right, then. Um, all seems to be perfectly normal. Okay. Um, again. Casting silent image. All right. Going to um, make it look like a... Sp huh? Go ahead. So it's one. It t takes one action. That's fine. I'm gonna make it look like a sprawled out Wellington on the floor, and then I'm, and then I'm just gonna run and hide. Are you trying to make it look like you're dead? 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Um. So you do that. He he's gonna be like. He's gonna be like, because I'm not messing with the orb right now. It's still like, t like make it look like he's still touching it, like just sprawled out there. Abigail. Yep. You are up first. Yep. Marcus suddenly stirs from where he was just like standing, looking at the armor. Marcus, what do you do? He's gonna get. Huh. What the? Yeah. Wait. No scales. He's gonna like feel his face. No nozzle. Oh, thank God, yeah, man. I'm back into my own body. <laughs> I don't have that weird scaly thing, and I don't want to go hide in dark places anymore. I feel happy about myself now. A snoot. And Overwhelming he's... lack of snoot. And he's gonna <laughs> just sort of look at the armor and just sort of realize what he was doing. And then it's like, oh, wait a minute. Hey, how is everybody? He's just gonna turn around. And just see the the freaking Sir Wellington. Yeah, like, the body of Sir Wellington and, and, and Abigail is like just sitting cross armed in a corner, looking at you very judgingly. <laughs> what? I didn't do nothing. Didn't say you did. That look is all that I need to know. And he's gonna go down like kinda like Gently flick Sir Wellington's uh, head to like want to see like Sir Wellington and just try and flick it. Okay. Um, it takes an intelligence check to determine whether or not it is real, right? Um. I wouldn't tell him right away, but I I would know it's not real, right? Physical interactions with the yes, dance reveals it to be know. an illusion. Okay. Oh, physical and, uh, interaction. And, and things can pass through it. Okay, you go to flick his body, and your finger passes through his head. And would have, it would at that point, I'm guessing, would hit the whole stone. Yeah, you yeah. flick the ground. You're just gonna. T <sighs> <sighs> Abigail, let's leave the room really quick. And he's gonna grab the shield and the. Uh, the uh, I don't even know if it's chainmail. Whatever he found. Um. Yeah, I added it to your character sheet for you. Um. Okay. You found uh, Adam adamantine scale mail. Ooh. I, I was looking for armor as well. Oh yeah, you do she find was. some. Yes. Hold on. Let me look up Marcus again. There. You go. I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I went ahead and added it to your character sheet for you. Um. You guys cool. all get another thing here. Um, Sir Wellington, you fired a bow, did you not during that time? Hmm? You fired, during, you fired in in bow? in in as, the imaginary yeah, world. Yeah, as Guka. Yes. You are yes. now proficient with longbows. <laughs> okay. Callie. Yeah. Still zoned out, apparently yeah. I didn't pass that check. Yeah. But you're still running. We're still... So you don't know anything yet. Um, um Marcus. Any luck with a shield, <laughs> by chance? Yes. Um, you find, there we go. Oh, <clears throat> I'll keep this to All myself. Right. You find <laughs> the shield of missile attraction, which grants you resistance to damage from ranged attacks. Oh, cool. All missiles get attracted to you. <laughs> you would need an an ample intelligence check to determine that though or arcana check okay eh. yeah I'll, I'll check it might as well uh, let's see otherwise it's just a pretty shield and you can grab it if you want uh 18 okay so this shield will grant you resistance to all ranged attacks the <laughs> downside is that you become a magnet for ranged attacks He's just gonna look at it. Oh no! And then Sir Wellington's proficient in longbows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's true. <laughs> I'll just blast. 
<laughs> so you just you just become have a U-turn bow is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look at it. I, I didn't just know that in. this bow was a boomerang. <laughs> He's just gonna look at it and like see if there's any other shields in there. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to get shot by. Um, you do just find a normal shield. <laughs> okay, no. Bummer. I'll keep my other shield. So okay. yeah, he will definitely just discard it. He'll be like, nope. <laughs> I do not deal with cursed objects. Also, Sir Wellington, I know that ain't you on the bot on the floor right there. You might want to come out. Uh, Sir Wellington just like slightly like saunters out looking up at the ceiling. Sir Wellington, that is not funny. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Kelly, could you I make mean, another I mean, uh, you, gun save you, for you, me? You, you figured it out, so uh, nothing happened. So I was, uh, is, you're right. It really wasn't that funny because you didn't give me a good reaction. Right. Anyway, uh, question: Did anyone else, after they died, end up in a sort of black limbo thing with like a bunch of water and a black sky? Or was that just me? Oh! Kind of. Oh, that happened to you too? I mean, it so I was there, and then there was um, there was the different me's there, and we were talking, and we had cookies, and then we took a nap together. So you're telling me what I got was a weird voice telling me to go up, down a bunch of paths, and you got to talk to yourself all that time? Well, not just myself. There, there was like, the, like the big lizard lady, and and then there was like there was me, and then there was like this other version of me, and it was like it was good, and within the like this this big plate of cookies appeared, and I was like, do I take one? Should I eat cookies? But then I decided to eat the cookies, and. Then we laid down, and it was good, and we were getting sleepy, and so I closed my eyes, and as I was closing my eyes, this fog came in, and I could hear I could hear these whispers, and some of it made sense, because it's things that I had experienced before, and like mm -hmm. some of it was like stuff that's happening, but some of it didn't make sense, and I wasn't sure what it was, but um, it, was, it was pretty good. And just so you know, Sir Wellington, as he's saying all, as you're saying all this, Marcus is taking off his old armor and putting on the new one while he, you're talking to him. Because mm -hmm. he know, he knows it's going to be a bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, okay. Sure, yeah, it's yeah. going to be a minute. Right, yeah. yeah. No. It's just know, doing the ad, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I didn't have anything like that. I had well, I walked a little bit. Uh, three pass came up, like three stone pass and a voice. I think he had like a mask or something, or maybe he was sick. I don't know. He did not sound well. But he told me that I'd have to make a choice. I mean, I made a bunch of choices already, but uh, this is what I get for being a cleric. And he's going to turn to Abigail and go, I assume you had something happen like that, or were you able to get the ore fixed in time? Or is that part of the ore? No, I just got the orb fixed in time. Ah. Yeah, then you didn't have a weird limbo state thing like us then. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. Sounds, uh, would have been. sounds like a you problem. Uh, definitely is. And wait, is not even in this room. She's still in the treasure room when she got hit. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> Are we not in the treasure room? You guys are no. in the armory. Oh. oh. Okay. And, yeah, Marcus is just going to look around some more for anything else, like, useful, I guess, since he's here. Any, like, any hand axes that he can get or anything like that? Cause he ha Roll an investigation off. check. As, as you're doing Kelly that, you just, another... you, just, you just see Sir Wellington going, looking at his hands and going like this. Uh, Sir Wellington, what stars. are you doing? I see stars. I don't know. Hand of fate. I, I, I don't know what hand of fate does in this game. I, w I woke Let me up. See what it normally and, does. 
it's like yeah, it's like the, the the teens that I I saw when we were when we were in like the lizard person. Um, yeah. That it made sense to me, and it still, for whatever reason, makes sense to me. I don't know why. Um, oh, yeah. it'll make me roll with a disadvantage next time. I have to do something against you guys. So my okay. next roll will be a disadvantage. Uh, that's a 16, by the way. And he goes and goes, huh. Oh, you find well, a couple uh, decent plus one hand axes. Okay, he's just going to... One might do something else, but you'll have to take time later to determine what it does. Yeah, so he'll take the, because he has a couple on his uh, belt, he'll take the ones that are, like, man out and, like, put those into the little uh, frogs there. So I'll just put that in. Is there anything else I can find in this room besides the giant orb? Roll investigation. What are you looking for specifically? Oh, yeah. Mark is going to take that orb and put it back on the pedestal. He's like, I wasn't right, looking for anything specific. You looking for what? Nothing specific. I, I'm, I'm trying to see what, it, like, I mean, I, you know, Sir Wellington is just a kleptomaniac. That's true. I mean, there's He's... plenty of shiny weapons and armor in here. <sighs> okay, I'm looking for the shiniest, like, prettiest piece of armor or weapon I can find. Marcus, oh, I have learned in my uh, many a campaign with Marco. Um, to no longer make constitution my dump stat. Yep. Callie's constitution is her second highest stat. 22. Second highest? Are you just rolling poorly? I got a five! <laughs> oh, no. Got a 22 for investigation. Alright. <laughs> you can't make me roll con saves it means nothing apparently it does not matter what your con <laughs> is you just can't pass cons I just can't win con saves in any of your games con I either end like up you. petrified or stuck in limbo forever <laughs> yeah, you're still just chasing that bonfire and then I'm, you still, I'm hearing... practically petrified I'm just squishy now and then you... And then you start hearing voices. I forgot about this part. Uh, this is oh, only boy. because you've been in there so long. You start I've hearing here voices from your past, like your earlier childhood. You know, like things you're like, oh, I remember that happening. Um, you know, pranks with your brothers and whatnot. Then you start hearing voices you've never heard before calling your name or saying, Callie, look out. Or I wouldn't do that her if I were you. Her full name or just Callie? Um, some is just Callie. There are a couple that call her by her full name. Well, damn. <laughs> that kind of causes means for concern. <laughs> and there's some um, that call you names with a different last name. No, <laughs> 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 what is this? What is this hell? So, yeah, that's happening in your head right now. Um, I went from being big and bold and, and feeling things I've never felt before to now stuck in a loop. Of my own self. It's like Groundhog Day. Yeah. But worse. Uh, right. I just can't... I, and I can't even blame Dice for this. Every single con save you have asked me to do, oh. I have four sets for Cali. I have rotated a different one. You just have horrible luck with con. My okay. con's shit. Like, no Across matter what characters. I do to try and make you be able to pass con saves, it just doesn't work. It means nothing. So, plus one hand axe, and then you'll send me the other one. Cool. Alright. Um. Oof. Alright. So... Uh, Sir Wellington, you find there are a number of shiny looking, like, there, there's some goblets that someone had been sipping out of. They're, like, tarnished now. Um, there are some nice weapons and some very shiny armor and shields and stuff like that and helmets. Um, it's just a matter of if you, A, can carry and B, want any of it. Uh, is there yeah, any with, like, little gems in them? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a... There's a pair of gauntlets that has, like, it's, like, inlaid with gems. 
Yeah, I, I shoved those into my bag. Right. Um, is there any sort of bow? Bow. Uh, what did you roll again? A 22. I rolled a 15, but I have a plus 7 to yeah, uh, yeah, investigation. You, you, find, you actually find a plus 2 longbow. Cool. I, I take that and I'm like, shit. And well, just shove it it's a into short my... bow, but to you it's a long bow. Because <laughs> whittle. Yeah. Okay. But so you get these longbow stats for it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. He's like, mm -hmm. and just starts putting it in his bag. <laughs> He's... Fabulous. Marcus, uh, Sir Wellington, if you have any shields for me, let me know. I found one, but it was kind of a dud. Ooh, with that 22, you do see a shield with a big smiley face on it. Ooh, ooh, I, I, I found, I found the shield here. Oh, really? Oh, let me take a look mm -hmm. at. Mm -hmm. What kind of shield is that? It's a happy shield. Marcus is gonna look over it like he's like trying to find out why the hell the shield has. A freaking smiley face. Make an Arcana check. Ooh, okay. Mark, I'm just so if I'm, if I'm looking at yes. it as well, can can I make the check? Yes, you may. You know, he'll I have to. Two I more just constitution off. saves. Okay. And? I got a seven and a four. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 22. How? Yo, you get all the bad rolls out. Get all the bad rolls out now. No, 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 no. I, it'll Arca feel that much better when she wins. You know, I got, a, I got a 14, so yeah. Arcana was a 22 here. for me. All right. Um, Marcus, you're not quite sure what this does. It doesn't seem intelligence, to have any... Intelligence is my high stat. Right? Um, it doesn't seem to be any particularly dangerous magic on it, that's for sure. Sir Wellington, you recognize this as the Shield of Expressions. And as a, I think it's like a simple action or a bonus action or something like that, you can change the expression on the shield to whatever you want. It's basically Hell a yeah. ring. You just basically gave me an emoji shield. Yes, that's essentially what <laughs> it is. Yeah, you did. I, I, Everyone I look knows at, what you're I look at him now. and I was like, so, so with this, this sort of shield, I think, I think it's one of those things where you can like, you can, you can express your emotions while you hold the shield. Like you can be like, woo. I'm angry, and you can make that. You can make the. You can make the smile, like go, and and the and then you if you if you're really like happy, um, you can uh make the smile, the shield smile, and, and then if you see Abigail, you can make it look sour, um. So, yeah, <laughs> he's just. Get a look. How is this from like uh he notes all of that. <laughs> how he's gonna also just like sort of see like how well made it is. Like would it be better at protecting him than the shield he has now? Because he's not it's... quite sure he wants a giant ass mood ring. Why not? Mood <laughs> ring. Oh, it's pretty good. Ring. It's pretty good. Intimidate them. Um it I uh, it wouldn't necessarily add more protection but okay. it does seem better crafted he's gonna look at it and just sort of see how well crafted it is and go well as long as I'm getting an upgrade and he'll just set down that shield take off his shield put it on the table and just kind of slide it on and just see how it is fair enough um, I went ahead and added it to your character sheet for you. It, it it's like a glove. Don't um, make me take out my angry face, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Angry my Eyes. Angry <laughs> my angry you eyes. Now, Mister Potato Head. Um, by the way, <laughs> you feel like you know how to wield an offhanded weapon. You gain the feat dual wielder, Marcus. Ooh! I went ahead and added that to your character sheet for you, Abigail. Yeah. Um, you do find some, uh, you do manage to find some armor. Cool. Um. I need less squishy, please. Yes, please. you may be less squishy. 
Um, I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Windows. wizard's hell squishy. In the wake of in the wake of uh, being this barbarian healer, you paladin, you, paladin. Sorry, this paladin healer. You feel like you know how to heal people better, and you gain the uh, the healer. Oh, the healer. Come food. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are we gonna do with that? <laughs> you were healing people. That's what you did. You hey, healed out Healing is healing mm. is in the school of necromancy. It's true. It actually is. That is true. Healing is a is just the early on stages of necromancy. Can I do it to myself? Yeah, of course. Cool. <laughs> you could you could you control death. Yeah, you basically and the prevention of it. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to like. <laughs> she's not gonna heal people. You're not happy about this. You're you're, you're just I give you're just you looking. A feed and you're not happy. Listen. So I as Abigail's a player, a it's vulture. cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, though. But now that he gave me dual weapon fight and he knows he can, he's going to look for something like another Morning Star or War Hammer. <laughs> I mean, you did find two uh, two hand axes that can work I mean, as a yeah. weapons. weapon. Um, I mean, but you're true. looking for another Morning Star or a hammer or hot. All right, Hold roll on. another investigation. Yeah, um, War Hammer, Flail, uh, Morning Star or War Pick. Okay, awesome. That is a 21, not 20. Nice. Everyone else is rolling really well. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what the heck is going on there? Um, Nat 20, you do indeed find yourself a very nice... Uh, uh, we do. We, uh, we roll dice in person and on various apps. Um, we... Do not have maps, though. Uh, it's been theater of the mind. Uh, maybe someday, if I can learn them, we can, we can eventually uh, do maps. But as of now, no. Yeah, actually, no. we have been completely theater of the mind. Thanks for asking. I, I, a good do, question, I do. Chad. I do. I do use uh, dice. Though. Yeah, we, we do use my... dice. We do use dice. Um, a mostly... nice hollow copper dice. Metal dice, right there. Amazon. So, this, I bust this is out metal the emergency well. seal dice. Do it. I've usually only yes. use these for death saves. But we're here now. Right? Yeah, you're starting to hear things. Um, if this was Kralis, I'd be telling you to take one insanity point at this point. <laughs> I would be taking like ten at this point. Yeah. Um, you're you're hearing things far into the future, actually. So when these events come up, you're actually going to get advantage on some checks. Sweet! There is a plus if side to being to stuck be in there. here for the, for a while. Um, you are now living Does in that... the future. Does that mean things subconsciously affected me as well, or was I too enamored by cookies? Um, yeah, what, and what about me? Oh, wait, no, I just heard the voice. Never mind. I wouldn't be. None of you were in there long enough. This is only because she's been stuck in here this entire time. Hey, excuse um, me. I heard the things. I just had cookies. I mean, fair. <laughs> fair. Um, you told you me I heard not that. To pay attention. But, like, so I mean, what I mean is Callie has been here so long that the past has stopped playing. She's just in the future now. She's like listening to a radio drama of, of the future at this point. Like a poorly done one where they don't de de Oh, uh, wait, um, am I in flipping what is the, what was the one that caused the big old panic? What do you mean? The one where like the radio show War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're basically in War of the Worlds. <laughs> where they where they accidentally were just like portraying a news broadcast of the world ending and some people tuned in too late and thought the world was actually ending. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things. That is the greatest story ever it told. <laughs> Orson also, Welles, you card. That was also, yes. I just found out what axe you gave me, and that is great. Yep. Um, you also uh, obtain what is called an Uru Warhammer, which is uh. Ooh. He re he holy... received an Uwu Warhammer. Uwu Warhammer. <laughs> Uru. Not first, Uru. every time you swing it, it goes. Uru. First shield of expression, emoji shield. Now, oh my Uru God. Warhammer. Uru. Make it do the Uru. <laughs> Are you I must say it okay. with an accent, apparently. It is an Uru. Warhammer. Okay, Marcus. Are, okay, Marcus. Markham, are you trying to turn Marcus into a... What I have the power called? of God in anime on my side. <laughs> yes. You're turning him into Sailor Moon at this point. <laughs> I I want an uwu bow. Every time I I launch an arrow, it just goes. 
what is that called? Magic girl. You're turning Marcus into a magic girl. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's no. a magical does that, does Warhammer. That mean, does nice that mean we're, we're now in Madoka Magica? Because that's terrifying. I would much rather be in Is This a Zombie or Sailor Moon? One of the two. Because at least I'm saying this is a like zombie. That, He's coming that, back to life. It's like that, uh, the, uh, the lightsaber where you can record your own sound. Yeah. What's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, why not? You're not invited, um, shut up. <laughs> it can do that if you want, whatever sign I want. It was magically enchanted to deal radiant damage plus plus two damage. Uh, plus plus Ooh. two on, on hits. Um, I mean, I will take that. But, say but if the guy Uwu was a like and decided to say it says Uru every time as well, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Apparently my ESA thinks that Uwu sounds like crying and is now consoling me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, I would move my camera to show you all how cute she's being right now. But oh. I uh, will not. <laughs> He's gonna there take it and just sort of just look at the two. <laughs> like the war hammer and the morning star in his hand and just all of a sudden this feels very very right. <laughs> Um, are you guys gonna hang out in here more? No. Uh, at this point, okay. he's happy. He, he I... latches that onto uh, his you belt. You found a set of studded leather armor. Um, it does have okay. some resistance, however. He's just gonna ignore every... Sir Wellington's just gonna ignore the others in the room and just start walking. I go, Snickers! Snickers! He is gonna do some swings with a hammer. And I have gonna added go... it to your character sheet. And how do I add the healing <laughs> that I'm more or less uh, yeah. <laughs> am just... going to use? Oh, I already <laughs> added that for you. I added that for you. Um, while while you guys were doing the, the RP earlier, I was adding these things to your character sheets for you to save time. He's... Okay, just to be funny, he's going to swing it, and it's going to go, Uro. Like deep Uru. masculine Uru. voice. Yes. Just, oh, whoa. Oh, you know what? Whoa. Oh, it was, yes. it was, a buff man and a maid. It was forged yes. by an, a dwarven blacksmith by the name of um, Oru Forgehelm. And it's, it sounds like him. It's Oru, Oru, Oru every time you swing it. We're, we're going with that. That's He's just going to swing it a couple more times to hear it. Go. Oru Forgehelm. Well, this is neat, and he's gonna put it in a frog that up, that just appeared with it. He now has a there, so now he has a war hammer, a morning star, and two hand axes. Cleric is decked. Beautiful. He is armed to the freaking teeth and ready to <laughs> ready to bring it upon the holy wrath to some people. That would be great. Did you? All right. Did you? Did you pass? Did you pass? No, I'm charging up this D20 with my core. All right, roll, 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 <laughs> because roll, roll. Because clearly gods are not here. We're resorting to witchcraft. <laughs> All right, emergency seal dice. Let's go. Yes! Oh, my God! 21! Hey! Yes, it's emergency okay. seal dice! Ooh. So, unfortunately, though, this is how this hat plays out. As you guys leave... There are a number of the kids that came in that are all just catatonically standing in whatever pose they were in when that blast came through and startled them all. Among them, you find Callie. She's just standing there. Um, what do y'all want to do? Thank you, emergency field dice. By the power Marcus of the field. Is, Marcus is oh, just going to be a little bit, like, shocked at that point. He's going to go, like, Ugh. Oh, right. I guess they need... Help too? Wait. How, I don't know how to help them at this point. We are dealing with some unprecedented magic bullshit right now. I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> She's like, the kids are out! <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm take fine. it easy. Did I find Snickers? Yeah, Snickers think... bounds over to you. Seems fine. I don't think Lesser Restoration is going to work on this. Nope. I, I'm ignoring everyone, and I just walk out. So, I guess we wait for them to come back. Oh. I go find a little hidey hole. Um, <laughs> the other kids steadily wake up until it's just Callie left. Just Callie. For like 15 minutes. Just staring off into nothing. 
Abigail uh, slowly looks sadder and sadder as they start to wake up. She's like, oh, damn. <laughs> Shit, they're returning. <laughs> no! Kids are back. We're just gonna leave them oh, here. This again, I thought... Number Man, one, we could have I had think... a cool, like, clay statues of just children and we wouldn't bother thought anybody. Thought the shipwreck got him, didn't get him. <laughs> thought this would got him, didn't get him. Didn't get him. I'm gonna have to start being more God, creative. the generation, the next generation is just too sturdy. Mm. <laughs> he, he's gonna just gonna, to like, like, the direct. House of Wax plan is going down the drain. <laughs> he's wait, just gonna wait, wave his actual hand. Actual question, though. Callie's hair is on fire. Is she? Is the fire moving? Yeah. Or is she just, like, in complete catatonic state? No, the fire is still moving. Oh, so she's just, like, a little torch. <laughs> yeah. She's just, the light, the light is flickering from her hair. She looks like a candle. She's going to wave the hand in front of her eyes. Uh, Kelly, you wake up to find Marcus right in front of your face doing this. He's like, uh, hello? (laughs) Are you all right? Oh, no. All right. I guess she doesn't wake up. Um, Sir Wellington, what are you doing outside? And Abigail, do do you wait with Marcus or are you leaving? as well nah, i'm good i don't need to wait with okay. the children i find a little hidey hole area okay i'm getting and i again. hold snickers in my hand okay and i look at him and i go okay you were there i want you to tell me everything that abigail was doing <laughs> all right he goes <laughs> Squeak, squeak them. Yeah, which yeah. translates into what, Markham? Which translates into, what, do you think I'm a freaking babysitter? I was in the other room. I had swarms of panicking children to deal with. They almost trampled me. I was trying to get out of the way. They were like, what's going on? As they started coming to, hey, it's going to happen. No, 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 no. Before that, when, when, when we had come in and then I left you there with Abigail, um, you know, what, what was she doing there? Oh. Why am I? Why am I? She just grabbed a few potions, and then she went deeper in. Okay. Yeah, have a cookie. Is we good? <laughs> yeah, have a cookie. Hey! <clears throat> I missed most of if, if you were talking to me, because she was no. being really cute, and then no. she decided to be a monster. That is okay. Oh, no. We we panned over to Sir Wellington talking to his squirrel and me getting to speak both in squirrel and then in the translation of what he was hearing. Yep. Um, Got it. Apparently he, he speaks squirrel. Um, fun child. Uh, Abigail, what do you do when you leave? You're just... What's around? What's around? That's... Yeah. Uh, well, there's people training in the courtyard. People are kind of setting up on the walls. Um... Is the courtyard outside? Yeah, the courtyard's outside. I mean, you know, what's outside? Uh, there's a large courtyard up in the front that you guys fought the uh, undead pterodactyl in, um, and then there's kind of a little little archway that leads into another larger courtyard that kind of is overlooked by the. No, hmm. wait. Out outside, outside, or outside the room. Yeah, you outside the room. You're just outside. Oh, I outside outside. The exterior. Oh, you're leaving the entire fortress. Well, how far in are we? You're are we... on the interior wall of the uh, of the first large. No, you're in the interior wall of the uh, the second. Um, this is at the base of that tower where Sir Wellington found all those um, holy and unholy relics. Right. So we're not. Are we that far in, or not really? Yeah, you guys are. You guys are. I mean, it's not that big of a fortress, but you guys are. You guys are fairly far in. Yeah, I just want to look out the front door, see what's going on. Oh, okay. See, so as in, you go all the way to the front gate of the fortress. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you just walk to the front gate and you look out. Uh, make yeah. a perception check for me, and we tab over, Callie. You're standing there being a little torch for like a solid half hour. And then you wake up yeah. to Marcus doing this right in front and of your she, face. Just like waving his hand right in front of your face. And, she, and since she was like mentally in there just running, she's going to keep running and barrel oh, into ah. him. <laughs> oh, wait. 
What were you doing when that blast went off? Training. Looking at the looking at the treasure stuff. Okay. Um then running Trying to forward, look into the treasure you, room you run them. right into the wall. <laughs> yeah. So like you're looking Cracks. over your shoulder at it and then you like all of a sudden you're just whoom, poof, Oh, uh, yeah. oh it is up to you if you want to roll a dex to try and stay upright or just poof, to the ground. That is my one good stat is my ten. You basically bounce off the wall, land on the ground, and then the like it's like it's like some uh just various travelers equipment on like rat shelves. The shelf falls on top of you. You don't take any Great. damage, but it's just a pile of everything. <laughs> Marcus is gonna watch this go. Ah! Oh, are you alright? Hold on. Let me get you. and he's gonna just like start taking stuff off her. Are you alright? It kind of, you kind of were like a, is there, is cannonball a thing in this world? Cannons are a thing yeah. in this world, right? Yeah, cannons are a thing. He just, he just took off like a cannonball. Are you all right? Are yes, you it, 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 it's you. I am small. Uh, I mean, you're not that small when compared to some of the other ones, but. I was really big. It was really big. And then Which I wasn't you? Know, I was I had a huge axe. But <laughs> big demon little arms, eyes everywhere. And I uh, Marcus felt cold. I think I died. Uh yeah, you did die. We all kinda died, but not really. We were are seeing we dead the now? past. No, we are alive. We were just seeing the past, and we saw the past by temporarily, if I am understanding this correctly, transferring into someone else's body from the past. So what we saw was the event that caused this entire island to go to shit and turn into the hellscape that we are in right now. Those people died, and now we are back in our own bodies. Does that make sense? Surprisingly so. Okay, good. I'm not really the one with the magical Ooh, knowledge that Sir Wellington, which is kind of terrifying those... to think that an eight year old <laughs> to think an eight year old is the most knowledgeable person we have on magic. But anyway, continue. Well, that that event I read about before we came here. Yeah. Apparently, some one or something must have stored. Wait a minute. And he's going to look for Sir Wellington. Hey, Sir Wellington. Sir Wellington? I, you I got two a are question the only for you. ones left in here. Just <laughs> going to get like... up and get everything off of me. Yeah, Marcus Alice. is helping that and uh, helping, him, helping her up, too. You suddenly feel like you need a great axe in your hand. Like it feels right. I'm added... not gonna give this tiny, frail little fire. <laughs> I added teenager proficiency. A fucking great axe. Oh, with a great axe to your sheet. <laughs> oh my god. You also saw some things in the future, which I will have to DM you later. Ooh, secrets. Yes. Perks to yeah. failure. Right. Yeah, sometimes, Everything's a winner. <laughs> sometimes there are perks to failing. You now know things nobody else knows about the future. Cool. Um, so whatever. I that's so raven this shit. <laughs> yes, yes, you that's so raven it. Um, <laughs> which means you could potentially cause it to happen by trying to keep it from happening. For all you know. Whoops. We'll see. Uh, I mean, you know what it's doing to your poor little brain. We'll find out. My soon poor enough. little teenage brain. But yeah. So sorry about all that. Oh, did you get caught in that weird limbo space too? Apparently, me and Sir Wellington did. Apparently, Abigail didn't. The Lucky. the black space and the it's the wet and the fire. Uh, not the fire, but yes. Mine had fire. Uh, mine had three paths and a weird voice. Damn. I, I had plenty of weird voices. Oh, really? Anything interesting, or just? random cryptic bullshit like i got well some of it was 
recognizable. Some of it wasn't. Some of them used my full name, which is weird. Some of them just knew me and... Hmm. Yeah, I... I uh, mm. It sounded older, and it sounded... It got really far and really crazy. And... Yeah. I never got to that fire, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure. I'm perpetually confused. Yeah, to be fair, I am a little bit knowledgeable of weird cryptid bullshit that comes with the territory. So, it means something. I don't know what it means, but it means something. I thought I wish I at least heard a voice that would talk back to me. Maybe it's not Gilda. I wonder how she's doing. Anyway, uh, let's let's get you up. And, and he'll help her get up. Alright. Um that was so big. Although Marcus <laughs> so will big. definitely when he has time uh use that idol that he found and like try and find <laughs> out what the hell that was. I'm gonna go looking for a great axe apparently because look need need Roll perception need. Uh, roll investigation. Sweet. He'll he'll see that and go uh, alright. I'm going to go ask some questions really quick. Are you good? I think so. All right. Uh, if anything weird happens, I don't know. Maybe I can cast less of restoration on, but I really got to ask some questions. So I hope you're back. And he's going to go to a secluded area to... Get the idol and then ask questions. All right. I rolled a seventeen for investigation. My luck is oh, turning nice. around. Nice. Um, you find. Hang on, let me get to your sheet. You do indeed find yourself a nice great X. Um, with a seventeen, you you need to be a sixteen. So good job. Um. <clears throat> Oops, wrong way. I am lost. I am lost. There we go. Excuse me. There it is. Mm. You find two different great axes. I need you to make an arcana check for me. Hey, look, a thing I can do. <laughs> 19. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me see here. You go here. All right. Before you are two different gray axes. One grants you a one grants you bonus HP and a plus one to attack and damage rolls. The other grants you an extra seven damage when you roll a 20 on your attack rolls. Does that one look familiar? Is neither, that the battle axe? Neither of them look familiar. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One of them might look familiar. Balrog had a vicious great axe. This is true. One is, one is a vicious great axe. I'm going to take the familiar one, but I'm going to study the blade, the, the blade shapes of the other one. So you're taking both? I'm just going to study, study the shape of it because of my bow staff. 
taking mental notes for my bow staff. I'm confused, but okay. What? What look is? At, look at the look at the bow staff. It's my homebrew. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. So, what does studying it entail? Uh, she's gonna study the the uh like just like the shape of it, the gen the general shape of it, and try to figure out how, like what sh what kind of tool she needs to shape it into that, uh thickness, uh sharpness, um weights. Okay. Okay. That um. Kind of thing. So you're just like you're sitting there. You're just like standing back and going like, okay. Like yeah, kind of, she's. Yeah, she's gonna. You're like take it over to the table. You like compare it to your bow staff and stuff like that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, as soon as you pick it up, it shrinks down to a hand axe size. Oh. Well, that was counterintuitive. And as soon as do you want it big again? Yes. As soon as you think that, it I grows big again. One. It grows back into a full grade X size again. Now I might keep you. <laughs> now you can do things. I mean, besides the, you know, added hit points. I You do it's feel like points. this deep desire to keep it, really. Big bonus. Um, yeah, I'll like, take the familiar one. I'll take the familiar one because I... It's familiar, um, and I feel like I could wield that just by muscle memory. It is actually make a history check with advantage. Ooh. Nice. It's familiar, um, and I feel like I could wield that. Oh, that's super cocked. It is super cocked. Get off my dice, <laughs> dog. Ooh, 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 ooh. not twenty, twenty-two. Yeah. This is. Borog's axe. Maybe Super not the one familiar. he had in that battle, but it's at least like a duplicate of it that he had as a spare. Hell yeah! Taking it. This is mine now. <laughs> when when that moment when you pick up that axe that was owned by someone like thousands of years ago and you're like, hey, I've held this before. <laughs> I know this. Yeah, I'm taking both of them and I'm going to add... Uh, Great axe to, or yeah, great axe to my list of things for the bow staff. She enough. could just do just the regular axe, but Ooh. now it's a great axe, not bow staff. Alright, so now you have two axes. Sweet! Double axe. Double axe. I have another character that wields two axes. Nice. You're slowly the... becoming another Viking, you know. This is the third character I have that dual wield dances. <laughs> and that's a bad thing? <laughs> well, no, Markham likes to roast me on my inability to, to expand my reaches. <laughs> right. He roasted me today for having four tiefling characters. I did, I did. Because I'm gay, Markham. <laughs> I mean, I have three tiefling characters, but I also have lots of other characters. And you are also gay, so shut uh, up. Yeah, uh, fair. I got a half-elf, human, two humans, a, no, three humans. Hold on. Half-elf, three humans, an Azamar, and a half-orc. Hang on. I put down. This is for an idea of how long I played D and D slash how much D and D I played in the time I since the time I started playing it. Although um, I have played half health twice. That I have means played. I have daddy issues. Oof. Which um, is fair. I've played a. Where are they? Okay. Well, fine. I won't count the Taja Who because apparently that's not D and D. Um, you can't play chess and then call. I guess on the I two. can't. Re that's that's a good one. Um, can't mix Monopoly and chess. Uh, I guess I can't claim the Hedgehog either because the Hedgehog was kind of D and D like. It was like a homebrew spinoff version. Um, so I've played three half elves, five humans, two halflings, two dampiers, uh, one dampier that it, it was formerly a tiefling, two half medusa, one centaur, one rat folk, two minotaurs, two dark elves, three wood elves, four high elves, one triton, one vidalcan. One Fire Genasi, one Goblin, one Loxodon, two CLs, three Turtles, one Reborn Hobgoblin, one Orc, one Eladron Elf, one Grung, one Changeling, two Dragonborns, and, of course, the three Tiefens. 
<laughs> oh, damn. Of that, I have had so far. We'll see if that changes. I think only a couple fatalities in there. The ch the centaur was one of them, unfortunately. He was a druid who spoke out for environmental groups and was er murdered by environmental extremists when he was mistaken for a pyromaniac. That was an unfortunate oh, wow. one shot. <laughs> oh, and I played a dwarf. Sig freed the wrath. Oh, nice. Because he was angry a lot. I played a halfling that thought he was a dwarf, but I have not played a dwarf. Oh, nice. <laughs> he awesome. tried to grow in like this thick beard, but it was just stubble. <laughs> it's like, I am dwarf! And it's like, uh-huh. <laughs> sure, something. whatever you say, dear. Right. <laughs> he was fun. I'm going to have the beard of a dwarf. I'm just too tall to be one. Yeah, you're closer to a goliath. I could see that. All right, so oh what is everyone doing? I was doing you know, my perception. Yes, you uh, have yeah. the perception thing. Yes, it was a 25, not 20. All right. Nice. You know, I'm going to do the uh, augury ritual thing with the idol again to see if he can get some answers out of the goddess. Mm -hmm. or Smart. God. Um, Abigail, while you're out there, you see in the distance movement. Where? What kind? It is way out. It is. It's because you rolled so high. But you see two figures, one adult, one juvenile, moving quickly across the uh, the wasteland, um, being pursued by a number of more demonic-looking creatures. That's towards the coast. If you look the other way, toward further inland, towards that large volcanic area with the the hustling and bustling of demons around this large castle you see what appears to be a battle going on over there the demons are fighting something okay there's explosions and you know you can hear the distant sounds again <laughs> fire etc um fireball going off a beam well, of what appears Why to be radiant light comes down huh oh. i mean stupid go on okay <laughs> yeah. and then closer just off to the left again not quite as far as the coast but kind of in between the two scenes you see a number of figures steadily approaching Heading towards your fortress. Like, estimate? Can I estimate? I'll be I here in maybe ten minutes. Okay, can I estimate how many figures? Uh, yes, you may. Wait, demonic figures? Oh, shit. No, they appear more humanoid. They'll be here in ten minutes. <laughs> yes, they'll apparently be here in ten minutes. Um, That's not far. Can I, can I hear them? They're right there. Ten minutes is still a ways off. You're as old as Uh, to yeah, ten no, minutes. that that like is. Yeah, it's a good long distance. Yeah. Okay. It's especially if they're running and you can see them. Are they sprinting like full force? No, they <laughs> are. Like, they're just that one scene quickly. of Monty Python. Do 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 do. Okay. <laughs> they're walking quickly. And how many figures am I estimating? Um. Let me see here. About five or six. Five or six. Mm -hmm. Let me see what we got here. Uh, okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> Just have it now. Can I... Can I... Hmm, okay. Do they look... Uh... They oh, look... What's the... the what? They look mean, they look happy, they look dressed in all black and edgy, they look You actually normal. recognize them as... Some of the oh, other people on the ship. Oh, okay. Um, 
they were presumed dead as they did not make it onto any of the boats. They were actually down below deck along with Marcus when when the, the ship struck. That, coupled with the fact that a few of them are wearing heavy armor, they should have technically sunk like rocks. Oh, I think I know what happened to them, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Hold on. D can... I gotta know some. I gotta be... No, you don't gotta know nothing. Just kidding. You ain't gotta know shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm have the to have only one who know, needs to know things. I have to have something. Come on. I got nothing to check for undeadness. From that distance out as well? Yeah, no. That, if it's ten minutes away, it's well uh, over yeah. the length of any spell. Yeah, yeah, but even when they get close, <clears throat> I got nothing. Yeah, but it, that that would be within a closeness of a single turn away from you. Yeah, but I can, like, think about doing it. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll just, I'll just... Yeah, hopefully we're a little bit more, pre or you're a little bit more prepared if they're that close and just, hey, let me see if they're undead or not. Maybe. Well, I... It's, I don't know. They look sketch. Okay, I'm well, gonna... That's what, so what I'm saying is that those spells are usually like within 30 to 60 feet. Yeah. So wait, yeah, what are closer any... to you? You'd have to wait until they're basically there. Yeah, yeah so wait. but I don't want them to get here. I got a question about like the pillar of light supposedly that popped up. Would that be very noticeable or no? It was only because she was actively looking. Okay, fair enough. It was um, like it, it, like it, it formed. There was a point of origin, like just a little bit in the air, and then, and then it was gone. So it's kind of almost like a camera flash. All right. Yeah, we'll just. Yeah. So Mark is during the point, just trying to make sure everyone's okay before he goes out. Because yeah, it was a very dramatic experience going to another body than dying again. Right. Yeah, okay. that's true. Oh, Marcus has essentially experienced death twice. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when was the first time? Oh, when he was drowning. When he was drowning, yeah. yeah How he's tall? Gonna... Sorry, go ahead. If he doesn't have uh, faith before, he does now. <laughs> he does. He like, And any faith he has had has like, increased a thousand percent at this point. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's just making power. sure everyone's okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, do I think they've seen me? Uh, they do not appear to have noticed you. They have noticed the fortress and are working their way there. Okay, can I, like, s I have spider mm. something? You know what? Fly? What did you roll again? 25? Yeah, um, you recognize one of them as one of your scouts. One of the scouts from this group. Okay. Okay. She's walking with them. Okay. She, she still doesn't see me? No, none of them see you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to climb up You the... just identify that one of your friendlies is walking with them. Listen, I don't know if they're friendly. I, I've i done some questionable things. <laughs> they right. may have talked to other people who who have identified me as questionable. That's fair. So I'm going gonna... right, to go I'm going to walk up the wall and uh, yeah, find some place to kind of chill, perch or something. Okay. And... Hopefully be camouflaged a little bit. I can do that, right? As a damn You can fear? roll stealth, yeah. But as a damn fear, you can climb up walls Yeah, and you stuff? can just walk up a wall, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, stealth? Mm-hmm. Pulls, pull, pulls off that breakdance scene from the superhero movie. Right. <laughs> right. Bam! 13. It's not great. As far as you know, you're very well hidden. Yeah, this is the same thing that happened the first time I came in, and that went so well. When I right. got Eldritch Blast and literally almost got killed by Sir Wellington. Okay, so you're doing it just above the archway oh, entrance, so that when they come in, they'll be <laughs> below you? Um, Anywhere where I feel I can get like some decent cover and just like a perch point above them. Or if I needed to like jump onto them, I could. Okay. Or like they won't see me. Okay, yeah. Um, That's what I'm hoping for. They do not appear to see you as you come in. Um, there's one or two kids in the courtyard that kind of look up and notice you and just kind of, like, give a weird look and then just, like, go about their, their play. Um, but as they reach the No, I'm outside, right? Yeah. Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, no, they don't appear to see you. Um, if you're on the outside, then the kids don't see you on the inside. 
Yeah, I'm staying outside. Yeah, no, yeah, you're good. Uh, okay. They don't seem to notice you. Okay. All right, so you just wait until they get near? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Chill. Okay. Um, as they get near, you can hear the, the scout saying, Well, I'm definitely glad I found you. Um, we'll hold up here for now. We uh, we sent out a hunt hunting party a little while ago. They should be back in about an hour with food. Um, we've been making sure the place is secure and uh, trying to get settled in uh, to plan our next move. Uh, just make yourselves at home, I guess. Uh, that, that's crazy. I'm, I'm glad you survived. And uh, they just kind of continue their conversation as they, they arrive. Her and these four survivors. Okay. And you just sit up there as they walk inside? Yes. Alright. Okay, so Marcus would probably see them come in if he's consoling everyone, right? Yeah, yeah. And consoling the kids that are freaked out. Yeah. Is Callie among those being consoled or is Callie off burning things? <laughs> Oh, Callie's having fun with her axe. <laughs> Which she's one? A few pack, Both? Huh? The great one. The the uh <laughs> the familiar one. Okay, the the vicious she's great. She's giving nice. it a couple yep. practice swings. You're getting a couple practice swings. You're like ah. <laughs> yeah. Well, now it's awkward because now she is no longer swole. Right. You're like yeah. Her yeah. strength is a fourteen. Ooh. Give her a second. The thing is though, um, so with the proficiency. You you don't know why, but you can kind of feel, this is how I need to swing. And you're just kind of using your body as like a pendulum to give it, just kind of letting gravity do its work with it. So you're not having to expend too much energy to swing it is the nice thing about getting the, the proficiency in it. Just get Right? And Sir Wellington, uh, once you've spoken with your squirrel, what is what is next on your agenda? Uh, just go out and hang out with everyone. Okay, so you're just playing with the other kids at this point. Yeah. All right. Uh, Marcus, uh, and Sir Wellington, as you guys are out there, actually, you know what, Callie as well, uh, you guys hear voices over by the entrance and you turn to see, um, one of the scouts return with four other survivors who appear to be more heavily armored than anyone you've seen yet. Um, they must have washed a store somewhere. Doesn't take a genius to figure out. That's kind of odd. Their heavy armor shouldn't have allowed them to swim to shore. Um, would Marcus remember what happened to him with the... Uh, he would. He's going to instant click and just... Uh, Sir Wellington, make sure these kids are right, all right? And he's going to go over and talk to them. He, he's very confused. And he's just going to... Uh, like slightly follow behind like but at a distance or he's like still in between the kids and he's just kind of like like looking and trying to like, hear as he can <laughs> you just witnessed Marcus tell Sir Wellington that he's in charge of you and the other kids <laughs> <laughs> in fact there are several kids that look a little bit annoyed at this and begin to follow <laughs> yeah no I I am not about to be bossed around by someone shorter than me. <laughs> Put the five-year-old in charge. Well, well planned, Marcus. Well planned. <laughs> yeah, we're putting the great axe over the shoulders like she's holding her bow staff. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no. He, he looks I'm up. walking. <laughs> I'm not about to be bossed around by some pipsqueak. You didn't say hello. And his squeaker. Okay. All right? <laughs> Callie says all this? Just like shouts yes, over it. Okay, Marcus, you're being shouted at by an angry teen all of a sudden. Sir Wellington just <laughs> slowly that... turns around and like gives you this very confused look, but then lifts up his hand and like just lets uh arcane energy crackle between his fingertips. <laughs> that was <Oof>. threatening. <laughs> he does the same thing with, with little sparks of fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in the other hand he like lifts that one up and lets, lets the fire dance between those fingers as oh well oh my gosh 
<laughs> oh no, Marcus has irrevocably caused World War Three in this world. Oh, I know gosh. there was a, I know there was a World War One or two, but it's so bad. The it's Nazis won, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna make things worse. <laughs> yeah. At this point, she's she's sticking her hand in her bag out of and taking like a little pill, a little little pill like this big, and just popping in her mouth like chewing gum and, and chewing. I know Marcus okay. is. Marcus just hears the voice. Is like, okay, this is sort of like in back in the village, and then just go talk because he needs to find out what the hell is going on and who was possibly the person to send and if they, and if they have the, if they know the people that saved them, then they may be able to because he remembers that the god has promised him uh, some helpers and he's like, wait a minute, could this be the sign? Like. Like we established, Marcus is now, he was just religious. Now he's mega religious ever since his faith. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, can, I, can I also move over to try and overhear this? As they start talking, like on sure. the wall? Yeah. Or, I don't know how I would do that, but can I just try to sneak and overhear this? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Um, Marcus, Sir Wellington, and Callie may roll perception checks now. Okay. Unless you are staying on the complete outside of the wall. Oh, I'm leaving like about ten feet between behind. I'm like, oh no, I, I'm gonna be like ten feet uh, behind Marcus, but I'm like slightly following, even though I'm giving uh, Callie some looks. I was, I was meaning if um. Uh, perception check. Would I be are, able to hear the, from the outside? I mean, you'd be making a perception check at disadvantage. No, I'll go on the inside. Okay, then. yeah, then everyone gets a perception check to see you. Thirteen. Okay, that's a sixteen. <laughs> just upside down on the ceiling. Yeah, you see it. She's I'm just upside down. I'm not. Does a, thir you. does a thirteen see it? Thirteen meets it, beats it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I just. Hi, Abigail. He just looks up. Hi. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I love how you just like, hi, hey, hey, hi. Hi. Marcus has, been, has at seen At this point, weirdest. we're not at really point, surprised. No, right? I mean. So, you know, talk to the armored guys. Talk to the armored guys. He's just going to beep. Uh, so you're talking to the armored guys now? Yes. All right. What do you want to say? All right. Well, first off, he's going to go and go, well, uh, first off, I would like to say, wait, what do you recognize that they're, wait, are these people from the ship? I, he recognizes the scout, but are the. Yeah, he recognizes them from the ship. Okay. And they were presumed dead. Right. Yep. So he's going to go up and go, all right, well, first off, I am very glad that all of you are alive. A, that means. Uh, you get to be alive. And second is we get more people to help. And at second, can I ask y'all a question really quick? How just, were each... Huh? They just kind of look at him curiously. How were each of y'all saved? Because at, with that armor, y'all should be at the bottom of the ocean like a rock. Um, one of them is going to, he's going to kind of nod and say, oh, yeah, I, I was definitely sinking for sure. I passed out before I could see anything though. Um, when I came to, it was on the shore. Um, there were, there were two others with, um, well, actually, I take that back. You already spoke to them, and they, they floated off. There were two others that were wearing heavier armor, but they managed to grab hold of things and float ashore. Um, okay. That, they were the ones that came back with um, Kieran's group earlier the other day. Um, or earlier that day. Um, so Kieran's group, there were two that you had discussed. Um, one remembered... Neither of them, neither of them remembered anything. They remember feeling like something was helping push them to the surface, and they grabbed hold of something, but they didn't see anything. Um, this one here, so this one passed out while f sinking, 
doesn't remember anything. Um, a second one, she remembers like a tentacle grabbing her arm and pulling her up towards the surface and kind of tossing her onto a floating chunk of the ship that was drifting towards the shore. Um, a third also remembers like a tentacle wrapping around them just before they passed out. And the fourth one <clears throat> remembers, uh, he, he kind of stops and he goes, yeah, well, um, I'll remember, uh, it was, it was like a mass of tentacles. Mm -hmm. It was, I got the glimpse, most beautiful face. She had kind of blue skin. Um, but like, you know, you know how like, like merfolk or where they're half, they're half, um. And Marcus will describe her as he remembers her. Okay. Because I can't remember this. It was just a large tentacles wrapping around you. Is what you what happened? What you saw? Um, oh, I didn't see the mer lady. I thought I saw like glimpses of her. But... No, no, you saw the crocopussy, as you guys have titled it, um, <laughs> swimming overhead, and then you saw a tentacle wrapping around you from behind before you passed out. Okay. Um, cool. This is the first eyewitness account you've seen of something that hints that maybe it wasn't the Croctopus. Um, or whatever its real name is. Yeah. Uh, and he goes, eh. and she just smiled and, and said, I should rest. And the next thing I knew, I was on the shore. Hmm. I do have to admit, that is very interesting. It's good to me how half these survivors are Cockney English accented, so maybe they just all came from the same region. I don't know what happened I was there. about to say. <laughs> and then you got Marcus, like, who has a southern accent. Right. I don't know what happened there. All right. That's a uh, Merlady? I don't remember no Merlady. Everyone else but, kind of remembers. Like, yeah, all the others who experienced the same thing are kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I do remember waking up in the middle of that black sand. So, huh. Oh, oh, wait a moment. Where did y'all come from? Uh, they were in different areas across, uh, along the shoreline. Kind of spread out. All right. Well, I don't know how to help with, uh, Blue Mermaid Blaze, frankly, that would be the most pleasant thing to happen on this island right now. But, at the very least, we can offer you a shelter. We got some food. That was the other thing. The The guy mentions there was something about her face that was, um... It was familiar, like I'd seen her before somewhere. That was what was weird. I, I could have sworn I knew her. Familiar? Yeah. Like, in a... Family sense, girlfriend? No, no, she's like I'd seen her somewhere before. So I don't know. That was what was weird. I do admit that is very weird. But yeah, I, I assume you guys are pretty damn tired, so come on in. We got not the best food, but we got some food for y'all. And he's gonna help them get situated. Alright. Um, Sir Wellington and Abigail, as you two are staring daggers at each other, um, do you just continue staring, or what What do you do? I'm gonna drop from the ceiling. Just Spider-Man-like? You just drop and land in the Spider-Man pose? Yeah, well, yeah, more or less. <laughs> Maybe not Spider-Man pose, but, like, yeah. Black Widow um, pose? Yeah. Just, like, on, on the feet a little bit, just kind of, like... Yeah, just drop from the ceiling to the floor. Okay. You don't have to. She wouldn't be like that dramatic. Where she'd like. Spider you just like Close drop it. and you land. You're like a cat. You just land on your feet. Just. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. You are now facing Sir Wellington. Um. Callie, I'm going to say. Ca oh, good timing. Callie, I'm presuming you're still right there. <laughs> With uh, Sir Wellington and Abigail as Marcus leads the survivors off to talk with them more over some food? Yeah, that's what I'll do. 
yeah, now clearly the adults are moving on. So now I'm <laughs> like, I'm an adult. Look at me do adult things. I'm going to go follow them. Because clearly they're going to go talk business. <laughs> He's going to look. Included. He's going to look okay. at Selkie and go, uh, are you Look at right? my axe. I am an adult. I mean, that is a As big she axe. Is still I'm chewing not going to lie. As she's chewing gum. You know, I think, I, I don't know if you know her, but there was a lady. Hey, Spike, I over here. What? Callie's brother is kind of waving to her. Hey, Spark, come on. Got something you're going to want to see. Oh, sorry. I guess what? brother's coming. I'll tell you about the big hammer lady afterward. Oh, no, it's okay. If you, sorry, if you're in the middle of talking, you can you can uh, stay with Mr. Mark. Hold on early on. Hammer? Giant weapon. Uh, I got a new one. I, we're doing cool things. I, see this act is dope, right? What about a hammer? Oh, uh, there was just this woman I knew. And the way you uh, act just now reminded me of her. Her name is Gilda. She was this half-orc woman that had a big-ass hammer. Like one of the biggest malls you've ever <laughs> seen. She was very good at swinging it, too. Very. She was very strong. Very well defined muscle. And you see Marcus just kind of trail off. I'm, I'm he enjoyed be... watching her whip her hammer out. <laughs> but, uh, sorry. Yes, but you just remind me. Anyway, uh, go talk to your brother. I think that'd be the smart move to do right now. I'm going to go mm. help the new people. Bye. And he's just going to immediately just... He's this... right at this. Do we see this? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I need to make note of that if mm-hmm. I saw that. Okay, good. Abigail's we were right that. there, so yes. yes oh, yes. We did. This is <laughs> ammo. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, this no. This is ammo. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sure Abigail yes. also sees Sir Wellington smirking at this, too. <laughs> there we go. Tag <laughs> team it. Their moment of. <laughs> Yes. We're a team Suddenly, now. they have a joint enemy. Yes. <laughs> we need to troll this dude. Um, so, Callie, do you run over to talk with your brother? I will go talk to my brother now. All right. Um, let me check my notes again. How do you spell his name again? I Early I... on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, wait, Earl Lyon. There we go. Earl Lyon. We wanted to name him Earl, but that's yep. stupid. Callie and her brother Earl. E A R L Y O N. So early on, because he's gonna die I-O-N. early on, right? No, I'm kidding. E A R L I O N. Early on. Yep. I needed to update my notes. I had something else to put in there for him. Hello? Yep. Uh, Don't so kill my brother. You. You know nothing. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to know anything. <laughs> but, uh, but I think you're a liar. <laughs> um, so you follow him, and he has like clear debris around this one kind of hut. Um, and he nudges her and goes, So this apparently used to be some sort of. I'm not quite sure what it did, but like. Uh, there's a lot of like coal and stuff in there. It was maybe it was a storeroom for like I, the the making tar and it, like. But there's like there's like oil and there's coal in there. Anyhow, really flammable. I was thinking we could make it go boom. What do you say, Spark? But why? But why? Why not? This is my question. What? We have a fortress. I've already it's a home. cleared. But- the area, like, look at it. Like, I, I like push anything flammable away from it. Like, it can't hurt anything. Yeah, but if we go boom and we lose the fortress, they're all gonna be mad at us. But we can make like defense bomb. Okay, what did you have in mind? Like, we have a whole bunch of them. You and I carry them. Cause are there other fire genasi around? Hey, welcome Raiders! Are we kind of weird? We got raided? Hell yeah. yeah! Hi, friends! Hello, welcome! Hello, friends! We're making a bomb. We're not making a bomb. 
literally, wait. literally, we have we have two un unsupervised teens that are currently making a bomb. Uh, he's oh, like eighteen. Plural. He's an adult. <laughs> yeah, adult. I mean, I always picture him as like twenty-one. That's barely adult. That's an adult. Uh... <laughs> Naz, yeah. you're you're about twenty-one. What do you say? Are twenty-one-year-olds adults? We get our first taste of freedom, and we're like, just go ape shit. I don't know. Legally, <laughs> yeah, but like maturity wise, there's some growing Legally, to do. Legally, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, are you fully mentally cognizant of my actions no. have consequences? Well, at you're all starting times? to get there. You're starting to get there. You're not going to make a bomb, I've seen hopefully. How college seniors do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, n hopefully, not building bombs. You should visit Florida sometime. It's really interesting. Yeah, no, I know some people do it, but, like, hopefully not. Fair enough. <laughs> to be fair, the guy that threw the gator through the Wendy's drive through window was in his 30s, so I guess some people just oh, don't Oh, you mean care. Earl? Wait, was that guy's name Earl? Well, you know, Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, my gosh. It'd be some, like, Steven... <laughs> Something like that. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, if you want to. Uh... So what we're going to do is we're going to make these like little pouches. That you... Well, are we the only like fired Nazi around? Yeah. Okay. That you and I have. And then we just have them in Casey because you and I are going to be the only ones who can use them. So. We're going to make a bunch of Molotov cocktails. <laughs> oh, no. You, you, you blow glass bottles, you fill it with the oil, yes! and then take the, the like, the, 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 the flammableness, cloth, and we and stick it in there, and they just look oh like regular bottles. And then when we ignite them, <laughs> chaos. You it's know? going to be great. Fair enough. And then we can defend the fortress, and then we're going to be amazing, and then I'm going to be the boss. I have, listen, big axe diplomacy works everywhere. Big boom diplomacy is a universal concept. I win because I have bigger boom. I mean, I can't argue with that logic. You know what? Fine. That's, that's way better than just burning it. Like, this thing would burn for days. It yeah, would be and epic. we don't want that. That's a waste. That's a waste of resources. Yeah, fair enough, but, you know, it's been rough. Hold on. I've been chewing I've... something, so I can get a couple bottles going. Like, uh, okay, fair enough. But, like, you know, you've been, you've been... Sorry. I've just missed hanging out with you these last few few days, you know? It's been rough since the shipwreck. It sucked. Yeah. And I thought the monastery sucked. That was boring. Yeah. I mean, we did get up to some fun shen shenanigans there. When, you know, true. we got the chance. But, um... Fair enough. Alright, you know, this will be my chaos with my little sis. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I yes. thought you... Damn, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I know. But you should know better. You should know better. Of course. I know, I know what I'm doing, you know? Like, you're the one who I, I worry about. Yeah, but did you see this dope axe that I found? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a cool axe. It's Where awesome. did you find that? Inside, and I can wield it with the amazing power. And I thought it was a better idea to stay here and train with Kieran. That was, that was my own mistake. Yeah, but now... I have a giant axe. I didn't know you could use a great axe. I didn't know either. That's really cool. But now I can. Yeah, that's really cool, though. And now I'm going to make our bow staff into a giant axe. It's going to be cool. I'll show you how to <laughs> Sign me up. I think I can. I can. You, my, my little sis can teach me something. Hell yeah, I can, because now I'm the boss. <laughs> you, can, you keep telling yourself that, Sparky. Whoa, why'd we swap spots? His camera just... went off. Turn off his camera. Matt, how dare oh. you? Sorry, I was just... 
Alright, there Bye. we go. Nope, that's you gotta not You got to flip fixed. the snap. Oh, that is fixed. No, now you're where Sir Wellington is. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. we're... Hold, please. Hold, please. There we go. Maybe that's right. Hey, Hold. now everyone's in their spot again. Sorry. <laughs> right. Oh, good. But to be mm, to be fair, I don't. We'll need some water. I know someone who can help with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's we someone. Need the uh, we the, need the water one of the survivors the here that I met. Um, they they can like, I guess it's like a spell. You, they can create water. Dope. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, because well, I mean, we might as well set up shop here if we're gonna not do anything else, and we have the materials to do it. We have this dope sand to chew on. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. Like, I'm, I wouldn't chew on this sand. It's not so tasting. But you never know what cool shit we could make out of it. That's true. Hey, oh, there he Reggie! Hey, Reggie! Reggie! Over here! Reggie Swifton! And this, this turtle kind of, like, looks over and, like, slowly saunters over and goes, Want something from me? Tell him, Kelly. <laughs> Come on, Sparky. She gets like awkward teenager to be able to go go up to the counter and ask for more ketchup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of looks at her brother like, "This is like a smile and nod. Like you can do this." Water. One who can make. Yeah. You need a bucket, a big bucket, like a trough. You need a trough. You know, why don't you... I'll set up shop. You get the things. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I'm going to set up this forge area to... I guess, like, it's an old forge. Like, an old blacksmithing forge. Okay. I'm gonna set up the area to be a, a glasssmith station. Nice. So, like, the furnace is going to run a little yeah. hotter. Not 100% sure. Okay. Uh, a little hotter. Uh, we're going to get our shit organized. She's now focused mode. Um, you get the smithy up and running. Uh, you did move the explosives away from it before you, like, ignited things again, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, so you don't go up in flames. Um, that's yeah. always good. Well, it'd be only a problem for some of us. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um... That's fair. Ah. This is a fun chair. Um. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, yeah, so you make an intelligence check. Let's see how quickly you're able to get it, like, set up and running and stuff. Great, my whopping plus zero. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking that <nat> one. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, this is what she's good at, but she's been a minute. Make a dexterity saving throw, please. Right. We're good at dex. Show me your dex. You already saw my dex. Another <laughs> nat one? Oh my <laughs> gosh. So, you thought oh, for sure boy. you moved all the explosives out of the way. Yeah. As soon as you ignite the forge, everyone else, you hear this sound. And you just running. see Callie fly through the air. Whee! Oh, oh no. <laughs> Team Rocket's blasting off again. He's got Mark has gotta look up and go. Can one How far Mark away is how far away is Callie if they're like flying in the air? Um I mean I'm guessing they're too far. Uh they are in the next courtyard over, so that's maybe about fifty feet right there. And then they're about oh. 20, 30 feet up in the air, flying <laughs> over the wall. Um, Marcus is going to Never mind. Go. Marcus is going to go. Are you like... 
Are you like silently just like chill floating or what? How, what's your reaction to being blown 30 feet into the air? Well, we've got slow fall, so we're fine. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mark is going to go. Can Munch anyone it. in this damn company go 10 minutes without blowing themselves the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I, I just turn to Marcus and go, I haven't blown myself up yet. Good. Do not do that. Do not be like them. And he's going to point to Abigail and now Soki. That is currently in the air. I was I went into this so confident <laughs> and double nat, <laughs> double natty. So if it was just far. one nat one, I probably would have been like, all right, you find like a little little thing, you like can't get blown back a few feet. But double nat ones has to have major repercussions because I tried what are the chances? so hard and got so far. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that dice? You're going to jail. They both it's that, are. It's that meme oh, of it, I'm a failure. What? I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, yeah. was it? Was it one dice that you re-rolled after a nat one? You didn't yes. immediately put it in timeout? No. Well, you were asking for it then. I know. I had such faith. Fate. I had such faith that they were going to like, betray me again. Oh, my but, God. You're like, no. lightning doesn't strike twice. It Boom! clearly does. M Marcus is just over so many people at this point. Yeah, you know, fair understandable. enough. The, uh... The heavily armored individuals are looking at each other and wondering if they made the right choice joining this group nope. <laughs> to survive. They're like, maybe we'll survive better on our own. Uh, hold on. What language does Marcus... Oh, yeah, no. He knows dwarves and elvish. He just starts that thing he does where he just mumbles in dwarvish. <laughs> There's definitely One some of the new survivors is actually a dwarf, and she just kind of goes like... <laughs> Also, I'm, assu also I'm assuming early on knows the same language as Callie does. Yeah. Yeah, so he can speak Dwarvish as well. That's true. Yeah. And I, 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 Sir, Wellington, Sir Wellington just looks over and in Dwarvish goes, you know, you should probably choose a different language. <laughs> we all speak Dwarvish. <laughs> all speak it. <laughs> this is my cousin of the storm all this time. <laughs> He's cousin of the storm in Dwarvish and we're all like, Dang. We're like okay. Oh and then he God. goes to Elvish. And just basically cool. goes. Oh, I got that one. I, I respond in Elvish better. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna start cussing in Elvish now. <laughs> You're like Sir Wellington can hear me. It's fine. <laughs> Sir Wellington is is different. He doesn't. Sir Wellington's he, built different. He built yeah. like a five year old. <laughs> I mean, fuck me. Just so you know, there are a lot of elves in this group. So. Oh damn it! <laughs> How many speak it, celestial they're one then? They're the most common species. Uh, how Man, many you dropped a celestial? fuck bomb in, in front of a politician. God That's damn him. it! Oh, Marcus don't care about no politician. That politician the, but can the, take the that question is, and stuff it in. The question is, can you actually curse in celestial? That is my question too. Or would you even want to try to curse in celestial? You can try if you want to. No, so. Sir yeah. Wellington has heard the the words. And he goes, no, no, no. You got you got to do this, and he starts saying those words as well. But he's but he uses abyssal. <laughs> Marcus just immediately backs up and goes, uh, no, <laughs> no, no, but, but, no, why, why, no, that is that is a bit, no, no, that's a bitch. Just... <laughs> that is abyssal. That's no. a bitch to figure that one out. That's for damn sure. I don't know what you just said, but that is a basil, and I do not like that. But 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 with the things you were just saying, they yeah, they but, don't they but, sound cooler to like that? Yes, but 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 think about where we're at right now. If we you start scared? speaking that, you scared of a couple demons, Marcus? Well, based on the fact that demons just can pop up out of the hell nowhere, yes. Hmm. So I only take I only reduce damage by twenty. Do I get any remaining points of like overlap? No, no, that would have been it. You were taking we're twenty fine. points of damage, so good job. Great, so we're we're fine. I think we I land can... on our feet and do some dope monk shit. 
I think I can heal a bit better, but uh, I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't feel like it. <laughs> That's uh, not really this. my problem. Watch them land and just... Uh. Ooh, and we're gonna go running back. Flight dog. We're gonna come running back. <laughs> oh, she's Make fine. a perception check while you're outside the wall. Kelly on there, give me strength. He says that 21. in Celestial. 21. Yeah. You also see the distant battle. You don't see the, uh, the, the adult and juvenile off near the shoreline, but you do see the distant battle. Curiosity killed the Cali. I'm, I'm going to go investigate. You're just gonna take off without a word to go investigate this yeah, battle. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, okay. We're we're ADHD like fourteen year old child. Let's. Fucking All go. right then. Okay. Um, you take off. But we're um, gonna be we're gonna be like a twelve year old trying to sneak into a PG thirteen movie. Wait, so wait, you know, do we see you land? Trying to like trying to like play it off. Like yeah, I I can be here. Okay. I'm good at stealthing. So roll stealth then. You're just stealthing. Yeah. Marcus hey! just sees them go off to what I assume is to blow up something 22. else. No, we actually, disappear Marcus, off the face of the Marcus earth. doesn't fucked, see guys. because you guys are still inside. Are you running around to the outside to where she landed? Uh, Yeah, that's yeah. after the explosion. Marcus would run around to be like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, so you get to where she was. You saw her like disappear on the side of the wall and you like mm -hmm. ran around and she's just not there. Uh, I'm not gonna curse. I'm not gonna curse. He's fine. Does Abigail and Sir Wellington go searching for? Or what are you two up to? In any fabric of space and time, but really. You know what? You know what? Space. Callie is slowly redeeming herself from being non-chaotic at this rate. I, I am not gonna cuss. <laughs> gonna I'm just gonna chance. yell. Uh, wait, Selkie, what's your character's name? Callie. Callie, where the heavenly fuck are you? <laughs> the heavenly like fuck. That makes it better. Where in the <laughs> heavenly fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I swear, if one more fucking person just starts to blow up, I swear I'm going to go back to my village and turn out to be a cook. I am Do done. I hear this? I think he's screaming this, so do I hear Get this? Out. He is yelling at the top of his lungs in common. Everyone understands. Everyone <laughs> here. No, I was. I was the just, demons I was... up in the mountains here. The people <laughs> down by the shore here. Callie hears it, and it's like echoing off into the mountains. No, I was just curious if I was like close enough. So okay. it, it's like that so moment I, in I, I... Uh, Team Four Star when Vegeta screams, and like everyone hears it, even Trunks in the future. That basically is what hap <laughs> what's happening. So, so. Uh, Sir Wellington comes running out, looks at, looks over at Marcus, and goes, "Hey, watch this!" And right as he looks, he's gonna put his finger to his mouth and go, and cast minor illusion on himself and make it look like he's slowly inflating. Why? Like Marcus <laughs> is furious at this point. He, like, because he said, "If anyone blows himself up again." <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! Got him! Oh my gosh! <laughs> he just uh, has okay, a huge smirk on his face as he's going. Parry this, you filthy casual! <laughs> oh my god! Parry yeah. the platypus? No. <laughs> you know he. I, I tried. Uh, I did a self-imposed uh, constitution check to see if he would get out of his funk. He's not. He's still mad. I was he gonna is... say, did you like make a con save to like not pass out from yelling so hard? <laughs> wait, no. wait, wait, wait! What was your con save? Like for him to like actually laugh at it, like that. He, I I think he like he's so angry that like so it would take a con save. Though, for... If he passed, he would find it funny. If not, it would make him matter because he's blowing himself up the exact thing he just said not to do. You know, I rolled a three, so total of five on that. So, yeah, no, Marcus just gets angrier as you do that, Sir Wellington. <laughs> like, if he, like, if he was, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like, 
He is basically... You're basically Inosuke from, uh... Yeah. Inosuke! Like, yeah. A, a smart Inosuke. Inosuke from, uh... Yeah, Inosuke from, uh... Demon, Demon Slayer, Slayer at this point. You've just... You've lost your shit and you want to fight someone. Yeah. That fellow. He, he pulls... It to Inosuke. bring out that point, he brings out the two weapons he has, because now he has a morning star and a... Are you going to uh, kill Sir Wellington? No. He what is not. happening? He's going to look for tracks. Oh, he is going God. to look for tracks. Okay. No, don't worry. I can get myself out of that situation. No. <laughs> like, oh, Sir Wellington did worry. piss him off. I need remember, rum. I need rum. I need Remember, rum. the current target kids of his the ire... DM drink. The current target of his ire is Selkie and her brother at this Hi. point. I mean, her brother's not doing anything. She just witnessed. He's trying to get water for the fucking glass, and he and she, wait. Like he has turned from a life cleric to a oath of vengeance paladin within a minute. That oh, is like no. how mad. Oh my god, is, he got so mad he class changed. Yeah, that that's how <laughs> mad he is at this point. God damn. That's not wrong, Markham. Did did the uh, did Marcus see the the battle? Rum takes too much time. I'm taking water. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, no, he is pulling out survival and going to try and track this girl and where the hell she went. So did uh did Naz uh, did did you're Naz? Did Abigail what? <laughs> no, did Marcus see the battle that distracted Callie? Oh right, um, Marcus, uh, you can make your perception check. Or a survival check. If you want to track just the tracks, then it's survival. If you're looking around first, make a perception. Okay, looking around first, then... Uh, oh, then make both. And uh, Sir Wellington, Butter- you had a question? What? Butterscotch vodka. Oh, that nice. looks fun. Uh, so, nice. first one is a 19. And then the second one is a 22. You pick up her tracks, you don't see the battle. But you pick up you know, her tracks, they're kind of like going off around the side. You know, Marcus is just, he is on the war path at this point. Like, he's not going to hurt, uh, crap, I always forget your character's name. Selfie. Callie. 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 Why is it so hard it's to be doing above her head. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, I don't have the thing on. I know. You should. But, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, anyway. But, you know, uh, he's going to just track Callie. He's not going to hurt her. He is going to give her a stern talk to you and drag her back by her collar to the freaking fortress. But at this point, he knows that he's going to David's territory. Does so, she have one? She has one. Yeah. Um, early on comes out and, and begins assisting with tracking. Um, what is What are Abigail and Sir Wellington doing during this? Well, I was right. I'm right there next to them. So I'm just going to like follow along. Uh, I, I'm, I'm for the, for the full minute that, uh, Minor illusion lasts. I'm going to keep up the like bloated self and tell you make Erlian laugh. <laughs> he laughs, but he's like trying to like you know when he knows like okay, boss is over there is in tr- is angry. I'm going to try and be discreet <laughs> so I don't become a target of the ire. Um, that's basically what Erlian is doing. Um, but he does like how to <laughs> um, he's like <laughs> uh, at, at Sir Wellington's. Loading. Marcus is just trudging along at this point. Um, He's like, Abigail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna, if I can avoid, like, I'm guessing I was right there. If I can, like, slip past, if Marcus is not gonna actively ask her to go along, she's gonna try and not participate, because she doesn't really care. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mm. Is he going to say anything about that, or can I just... I don't... I feel like Marcus is too focused at this point in Perfect. his race that he wouldn't. And I'm going to look... definitely not going to ask. Yeah, no. And I'm going to look for something something that has blood. That's preferably not a team member. Maybe There's a, a team member. Around. Yeah, that, that's like going to be <laughs> low... There were some animals out on the, on the planes that you could see when you were making your your perception checks earlier. Cool. Um, can I go get them, please? Yeah. She's All right. having just... a hard time. So Abigail also takes off into the into the wastelands. 
Well, yeah, but the other way, I In think. a different direction, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, you know, but I need... just wandering out into the wastes by themselves. No, no. I need the food, man. You want me to eat people instead? I'd be nice. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> Fair enough. You? Oh, really? You want me to eat the kids? Because she will. We, we show back up, and then she's just surrounded. <laughs> Oh yeah, Marcus <laughs> here. There's the kids. <laughs> I found them. <laughs> no, that, at that point, Marcus would not hold. I back. found he them, would, and I also found them delicious. <laughs> <laughs> he would bring down the hammer of Uru on you. <laughs> <laughs> and Abigail, meanwhile, found the the club of Uru, uh, <laughs> made by the the the. I'm gnome. sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. I I <laughs> promise, I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Every time I ooh woo, my dog thinks I'm crying and then tries to console oh me. I know. No, Mark, you know. He so, is mad. Sir Wellington, are you like actively looking or are you just along for the ride? Uh, I'm like, I'm not, I'm like looking around at stuff, but I'm like, I wasn't, I did not come along like with the idea of like, oh yes, we're actively like, I need to be actively paying attention. He figures that like, uh, Marcus has that under control. <clears throat> All right, fair enough. I'm See. guessing. I'm guessing it's been like a minute at this point, and my my bloated self is back to normal. Yeah, yeah. At this point, you're back to normal. You and Erliana are just kind of following along behind Marcus. Um, Abigail, I, I, I am the slow one. I'm behind them. Yay for a walking speed of twenty five feet. <laughs> 30 feet. Abigail, can you make a stealth check? And stealth? Callie, what was your... Oh, yours was a 22. Callie, it actually takes you... Gosh. How how high, how long are you... How determined are you to investigate this battle? I just want to see what's going on. Who's fighting who? Because it's about, two hour, about a two-hour hike to actually get up to the battle. I just want to... I just want to, like peaks if there's like a high vantage point where i can look <clears throat> down there is it will add about Nips. another half hour to your hike that's fine i'm determined all right uh, i am hyper you focused do on this encounter noise some now. demons but you are you are well hidden and they don't seem to notice you great i would hate for my level four monk to interact with fucking demons Markham. <laughs> You're the one who's wandering off. This was I there know. for flavor in the I'm background going and foreshadowing. I am not high enough You guys have taken the area. foreshadow and you've decided to go to it. <laughs> About every two minutes, Sir Wellington, he's just, like, if Marcus looks behind him, he just sees Sir Wellington, like, run up, like, to get up to where they are and then start walking again. So, because basically, that's, like, double move. Every, every six turns, he's using double movement. To like <laughs> rush back up so that oh he's up gosh. to space without them. <laughs> I love that. Um, Marcus, <laughs> make another survival check as you get towards the more rocky areas as she had disappeared into the mountains. Uh, that is an unnatural 20. The tracks are hard to follow, but you think she went up into the mountains somewhere. All right. What what is this check? But you're kind of going by guesswork. It is survival. Are you helping at this point? No, I was oh, just okay. curious. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Callie. I mean, I Hi. am proficient in that, but Fair <laughs> no. Uh, whatever. Um, Callie, Hi. you find this little little ledge that you're able to crawl onto and look down, and it's a little ways out. Like you can see the massive castle looming Volcan- volcanic kind of streams of lava just like pouring out everywhere and uh, little bridges mm-hmm. built to kind of go over those little streams um, there is a actually decent sized battle just below you you've managed to get pretty close at this point um, you've been traveling for a couple hours at this point so very you're a little stealthy. bit tired, but you're very stealthy. Very stealthy. So you can nestle in here and get a decent view. Um, make a new perception check for me. Please have me just pop up behind her like. <laughs> as, we're, 
Like her as we are going Wait, up though. Wait, new, new stealth. Oh yeah, are you the, are you two doing stealth? By the way. Uh. I mean, I have disadvantage on that either way. So. Not with the adamantine armor. I don't. Ooh. No. Removes his. Advantage. I mean. But if you're advantage? not focused on stealthing, then. Is what it is. No. Uh. I don't know whether or not. He... Either way, you're in trouble because Sir Wellington isn't being stealthy. <laughs> No, I I would just say because he because of the lower like walking speed and all of that, um, as we're going because we're going up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there little like cliff faces that he can like climb up quickly instead that like make it so he like keeps up more about the same pace? Yeah. Because yeah. if so, I have a climb speed of twenty five, so oh, I'm just gonna yeah. You can you can you can easily climb up to to counter his. <clears throat> it's difficult terrain at this point, um, yeah. for him anyhow. I, yeah, I'm just go. I'm just gonna climb when I when I need to, uh, to keep to like keep up pace. Sounds good, Marcus. Are you actively trying to stealth, or are you just you were trying to find Callie? Let's be honest. Probably tra just trying to find Callie. All right. Um, so wait, am I doing another stealth or perception to see the? Stuff? You know what? That's a good idea. Roll stealth too. Okay. So I appreciate you guys giving me ideas. Very thoughtful. Stealth is a 19. Still very stealthy. Okay. And perception. Perception is also a 19. It rolled a 17. And it is. Isn't that fun? Double 19. Oh, good thing is, I do have... All right. Um, Callie. Hi. As you That's are me. looking out over this battle, yes. you see, like these hordes of demons and, and some mixed devils in there too. Um, just swarming uh, these warriors that are fighting. And like one, you know, they, they, like, you know, one like puts their shield up and the other like jumps off of it and beheads another demon and stuff like that. Um, this is a pretty epic fight going on right here right now. Um, I'm quickly finding a team that looks to be winning and going to mentally cheer for that one the so you're cheering for the demons then no i'm kidding yep really <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on whoever's winning that's the one we're rooting okay for. fair enough um well there are there are three different sections one has the demons winning and then the other two the warriors seem to be winning against the demons it's a matter of which one you want to pick Like, where's my coin? <laughs> where's my coin? There you are. Oh, fantastic! So we have a shield, a shield side for warriors, and a red side for demons. Hmm. Warriors. All right, you're rooting for the warriors. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Basketball. Right. Maybe. Anyways. Um, Sir Wellington and Marcus, could you both make perception checks for me? And Abigail, what did yeah. you get on yourself? 23. Oh, nice. Um, you easily sneak up on this creature. It seems to be some kind of deer, but it's been, like, mutated into this weird... It's got black fur, kind of this crimson skin. Um, its veins deer. seem to glow. And its eyes burn this bright yellow. Does its it... horns appear black and more jagged than a deer's normally should be. Almost like they're decaying, but they're also obviously not. Its veins are glowing? Mm-hmm. Okay, I have a dagger. Can I stab it before I drink it? You may roll an attack, yeah. With advantage, because you're hidden. Thank you. What's advantage... You roll, you roll twice, twice and take the higher, the higher one. Uh, okay, was... but on the hit? Sorry. Yeah, on the hit. Uh, nine... Wait, hold on. Let me look. Uh, unnatural 20 for that perception. Nice. What Sir Wellington get? 13. Okay. You're focused on climbing. As is early on, he's not too focused on anything else either. Uh -huh. What'd you get for the hit, Naz? 15. Alright, you hit this thing, and you, you gut it. 
You got it like a deer. I mean, it's what it is basically. But <laughs> um, I the, should okay. I the should. blood is black, which is weird because it's like it's glowing in the in there. But as soon as it comes in contact, the the color the the bright pinkish red just like fades, and it just is black black blood coming out, and it smells like normal blood. Okay. Actually, make a Constitution saving throw for me. Have better luck than I did. Sixteen. Like you resist the urge to immediately plunge in and start eating. So you're not animalistic. You're in control of yourself. Sixteen. Well, I, I'm still. Bajra knows it. what I'm talking about. I mean, but now you can be more dignified. Oh <laughs> uh, well, sure. <laughs> yeah, serve it with. It's a the knife difference between like. Day. It's the difference between like, and you know. I guess. I'm a numb. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll eat. You take out your blade, shave a little bit so you don't get a mouthful of hair. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know where you'd get the. I mean, you Function could just pull thing. out, like, your canteen and fill it with blood if you wanted to. Like, uh, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. <laughs> a little I have blood a, for now, a little blood for later. I have you know. a, um, a something that I can fill probably with. You should blood. have a water skin. Yeah, everyone has a water skin. Yeah, yeah, just, that's a, yeah. Just I'll fill that. bag of holding right. with blood oh my god <laughs> now it's a blood skin <laughs> no water yeah, just, that. Sti just sticks head in bag of holding and comes up like the face straw. just red oh my god <laughs> with the horrifying straw. yes i will eat and i will fill my water skin well i'll eat and then i'll ask if i feel normal or if i feel weird because it was black you feel fine it okay. this is normal blood it just it looks weird Due okay. to the uh, weird Erupted. mutations of this land. Okay. Okay, well, I'll fill up my water skin with blood, too. Alright. Um, make a perception check for me. Oh, no. And we will tab back over. Um, Marcus, with your dirty 20. Um, see Callie. Dirty little 20. You don't see Callie. Oh. You're still higher up. They're not high enough yet. You oh, notice yeah. two things. One is you look down and you recognize some of the combatants down there. Wait a minute. Callie, like, you recognize this too. Like, were recognize they on the ship? How? Like, yeah, were they on the ship? Like, you remember them. Sort of. As if it was a memory? Yeah, like a weird fuzzy memory. Both of us, or just both Callie? of you? Hmm. Huh. Do they look like holy warriors, or do they just look like regular warriors? Hard to tell. They each do I have. I recognize them from the weird. Whenever I was huge. Make a let's say an intelligence check. Wait, Great. even with a My dirty twenty, it's hard. Zero. Dang. Even with Mark the what? Up. Even with a dirty twenty, I couldn't tell. With the perception. Roll. Hang on, let me think Man. about that for, a moment for both of you. Because it did just happen. Yeah, you know what? I'll give it to you. So. Here's something that you each... So, Callie, you got to see this because you survived to the, kind of the end. Right yeah. when the, the Arc Devil stepped down and began killing people. You saw a blast of fire. So, there were two young individuals there. Late teens, early 20s or so. One was a kind of purple-skinned tiefling. He had blonde hair pulled back into a ponytail. Um, an earring in his, in his right ear. And he had just, like, when, when this whole event started, he had come out from one of the back rooms, like, telling everyone excitedly, like, hey, guys, so I just I just finished my initiation. I'm finally, like, an official warrior like you guys. And, like, everyone's like, good job. And one of them was a, a slightly older elven wizard. He wore, like, a trench coat, and he wore a little tie and a little vest. Cool. Um, and he he looked like he'd, he'd been a more recent graduate as well from, from the, the training. Um... And he kind of, kind of gave him a pat on the shoulder and was like, good job, good job. I, I know you do it. Um, early on in the battle, the 
young tiefling whose name was Callius, uh, you overheard, um, almost got killed several times. And um, Harion, the 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 more seasoned of the two rookies, um, saved his life a couple of times. The young wizard elf, and um, towards the end of that battle, Callie, you as Borog saw this blast of fire strike Harion directly, and he went flying back. And when you what you saw at but the entire right side of his body. I'm sorry, the entire left side of his body was completely burned away. Just eviscerated. Um, from, like, his his neck down, gone. And it looked like he had been shot in the eye with an arrow as well. And he just lay there limp. And Callius fought his way over and picked him up and started dragging his body towards the hills in the distance. And that was when you turned around and saw this arc devil point at you and said... You need to die. And you felt yourself crumple over and die. Now in front of you are what appears to be an older version of Callius. He has now a, a well-trimmed white beard. His long white hair is now still pulled back into a ponytail. He still wields the same sword as before. Um... But his, his clothes are, of course, different. And fighting alongside him is this old elf um, with his, his left ear is missing. His left eye is missing. Um, his white hair is pulled back and kind of tied into a bun and, and braided along the sides. And he only wears a right boot. And you kind of squint. And, and you notice this too, Marcus. Because with the 19 and a 20, you're able to catch these are the guys from that memory. And Harrion, the entire left side of his body is metal. Holy It's been shit. replaced with some sort of mechanics. Hardcore. Yeah. That's metal. Hardcore. <laughs> fuck. Now, also, Marcus, with that perception check, you hear growling behind you. Sir Wellington. Immediate you... swain. Immediate freaking swain. Sir Wellington, swain. you see Marcus turn around and swing... And give me an attack roll. Okay. Uh, he's doing both because he has the Uru hammer and the morning star Uru. there. So he's just nice. Double right. Uru. Um, Callie, can you give me another stealth check? No, you did, didn't you? Yeah. It was a 19. Yeah. Ah, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, you feel a hand on your shoulder. Oh, boy. The first, raggy. <laughs> first one is a 21. And the second one is a uh, 27 to hit. All right, all right. Um, uh, and is what I'm hitting a uh, fiend by chance? Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. It's a hellhound in front of you. Yeah, so this mofo is not only going to take extra damage from the morning star, but also from the little bit of radiant damage that the uh, hammer does to him. All right. So let me just roll all that really quick. I'm, I've amused myself because I realize I can stick my t a toothpick into the, my dice and I can just smack it down and it bounces and to roll it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. I love that. Show me your roll tax. I am. Um... <laughs> Everyone rolls their dice a little differently. Right. Okay, so total damage on that I is going to be because they take double damage from Radiant, right? They do indeed. Okay, so let me just double check to see if the damage is Radiant. Oh no, it's just extra damage. Okay, so the Hellhound will take uh, six, three, plus seven. Yeah. So that will, that hellhound will take a total of forty damage. That's Holy damn. cow! Yeah. Um. How do you want to do this? So, basically, uh, I'm gonna imagine Marcus is gonna be That's swinging amazing. from the left side. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> he's going so to. Effective. Right? They, they, they all have these little holes in them as well. Like, just because they're hollow. Because these are all hollow metal dice. Nice. Start. So, Mark is going to first hit with the <laughs> Uru hammer just to discombobulate it. All right. And then he's just going to bring down that Morning Star right on its head and just. All right. Yeah. Um. You it, with this yelp, it like it's its neck snaps and its head caves in a little bit and it just drops dead. Um. You look up and see there's a pack of hellhounds above you. He just he just breathing heavy <laughs> and just uh, swings, weak. just like does a little twirl of his hammer and goes. I need to let out a little aggression right now. <laughs> Sir Wellington's just <laughs> along for this ride. <laughs> um, Sir Wellington, you see this oh, pack yeah, of really? hellhounds above you. Marcus just killed the first one. There's a bunch of them. Um, you two roll initiative. And Abigail, um, as we come back to you, what was your perception check? 22. 22. You look up and see... Stepping out from kind of a, a, a rugged rock nearby... The hooded figure you'd noticed earlier. And he kind of walks over and goes, Can we, uh, can we share some of that? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Wait, You're wait, killed. What? Can we share some of that? Where did you come from? Um, I was tracking this deer first. Well, you need to be faster then. Okay. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> so, you only seem interested in the blood. Can I have the meat? Whatever. All right. Thank you. I I can help you drain it if you need to. Help me what? I can help you drain it. I have a spare water skin. If you want more blood. Who are you? She'll kind of take it if he's offering. Name's Pelmar. What's yours? Abigail? Pleasure to meet Bill you, Mark, Abigail. Boy. <laughs> Mark, um... What? <laughs> Elmar? And, um... Pilmar Doughboy. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> and, uh, with that, we will leave, uh, leave off for the week. Hey! <laughs> with you, you Mark can up. be getting into three separate... Split the party situations. Yes. Why did you ask me to roll for initiative and then we yeah. didn't even tell you what it is? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. What is initiative? <laughs> next got, time. I got in. Oh, I forgot I asked you to do that. Actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. I rolled a uh, seven. I got a seventeen. I got an eighteen. Well, you two are going first. Then the highest wolf got a fifteen. Two. And um, so, early on, got a three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's a monk? He's a monk. Aren't they fast? Yeah, yeah. well, I rolled poorly. I mean, three plus We're whatever fast. is modifier. We have great initiative. Is, I, I need to check uh, but damn. Yeah. Yeah. But but it's still low. Fast, it's very But is low. he as fast as a little hyperactive gnome child? Oh. Or, a, or a rage-filled <laughs> cleric. Yeah, so wait, cleric, okay. our cleric is going through some stuff. Oh, yeah. A question, how many <laughs> hellhounds are there? About a dozen. Uh, whatever. It's a pack. Uh, okay. Yeah. It'll be all right. I got healing spells. I can use them on myself. All right. Sure. Healing word only requires vocal, and I got a bonus with my class, so. <laughs> all right. All right. You know, Marcus is mad. He is going to wreck some shit if he can. Angry. Fantastic. Angry. Just a bit angry. All right. Um, yeah. he's, he's now going to be a barbaric. We're going to... <laughs> yes. Uh, we're going to start off next week with uh, Callie getting to in, invest... Well, we'll find out who grabs Callie from behind. 
Because, Who's touching me? Because they rolled way higher than a 19 for the stealth to approach. Oh, Hot damn. Um, and uh, way higher than uh, 19 I'm for the perception so to spot Callie. <laughs> I'm so curious. <laughs> Me Based too. on conversations and things, I'm upset. <laughs> that was what I was going for. <laughs> well, I'm upset that I had to wait a week to find out. Unless you tell me later, because I already get I was there longer, and you need to DM me secrets from the future, anyways. I guess. I mean, it's not mine, Markham. Give me your secrets. Hey. Okay, hey, hand. Let me check one thing. I think I might be able to at least pan over, and for the final scene, we can reveal who is grabbing. No, Kelly we're not going to reveal. It's going to be a cliffhanger, so people come back and see next episode. But you're going to tell oh, me so, because so, I know the future. So Abigail meeting a, a new friend and and Sir Wellington and Marcus in combat isn't a cliffhanger enough. <laughs> That's going to be plenty. And then Callie getting touched by somebody is plenty. That sounded awful. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, touch stranger. Find it on next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be honest. Marcus may have hey, also inherited some of that lizard there. man's anger. Ah, it's possible. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, well, fine. Uh, good grief. I sure am a tough DM. You guys, you know, uh, you whine once, and I'm like, all right, I'll change my plans for you. Um, <laughs> Uh, I know, just so stubborn I'm, of a DM. I yeah. know, it's like impossible to get you to do anything. Yeah, right? so I see. But I need to yeah, all that. I just got to know is, so, just hear I'd me like out. I'd like to do something stupid. <laughs> just hear me out. It's like, um, this is what I was thinking. I was like, that's good, but hear me out. And then you're like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally have, actually, by the way, uh, Silky, you're going to love this. I have in Korshawn... She's doing something stupid again, written out for Ellen to say whenever they have to, whenever someone new observes Bajra being a nut. Um, Speaking of Korshan and Bajra, you guys can come check out next uh, tomorrow when next our time. DM and Naz and I are going to be in uh, the Legend of Kralis for that next episode, which is airing tomorrow. Um, yes. I don't mean to cut you off. But it's 1 a.m. No, okay. I would like to go to sleep. Um. <laughs> oh, that's the other reason. Yeah, that's right. I forget you're an hour ahead of me. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, Abigail. Come check out. Oh, other Kralia. legends of Kralisian. Kralisian. Kralisian? Kralian. Kralian. What are we? I don't know. Nerds. Just a bunch of nerds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This correct. Yes. And also... Guess the guess Matthew's anime. Otherwise, you eh, you'll still get nothing if you <laughs> <laughs> you win nothing. You win nothing. You win nothing, but, nothing but you lose nothing. Also, that is true. In today's I, I, world, I, it's hard to find something where you can't lose something. I uh, sent I, I sent Matthew the one that I shouldn't have watched, mm. and if anyone guessed that one, I have some questions. But yeah, I would be very surprised. Oh, I mean, they must have had a lot of good. They must have had a good buddy to show that anime. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Oh, I just gosh. stumbled across it online and went, "Ooh!" Oh no, my friend showed me an episode, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> oh my gosh! I nope, I can't. I couldn't even guess. Um, so Nez, your outro. Oh, uh, I'm Nez, and I play Abigail. All yeah. right, short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, see if you can beat that. No, just kidding. No plus. Right. Just I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I'm Find here. Right. Perceive me I'm if you dare. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, Matt played Marcus, and honestly, I am very excited to play Matt Marcus. <laughs> this is very fun. <laughs> fun time. Too bad I can't make a Mad Max joke. Oh, well. Mad Marcus, Fury Road. Yeah. I like it. Sir Wellington. Happy to have you I'm back, Ian. bud. Yeah. I'm glad to be back. I'm Ian. I'm playing your bloated boy, Sir Wellington. He's the balloon boy of a different franchise. Yeah. Right? Who apparently has like four different multiversal versions of himself. There's Don't worry about it. There's something going on there, maybe. Maybe not. 
Don't worry about it. Um, and I am your Dungeon Lord and Shenanigan Sovereign, Mr. Markham, on literally everything, DMing here on uh, DN Denial. Um, check out their other games. They have uh, one bi-weekly that my wife and I play in, um, Rumors of Magic on Sundays. There's the Iwin Adventures on Mondays. Um, the... Uh, it's not Volcano of Ice anymore. I'm still learning it. I think it's Umbral City on Tuesdays. Um, us here at the Lost Continent on Thursdays, and then Legends of Kralis on Fridays, which is arguably more horror than my horror campaign. So catch us tomorrow yeah, you... night to see if we don't get ourselves to see whether or not Did, we get ourselves I... killed. Yeah, you gave me a <laughs> smiley let's, let's face be, shield. Come let's on. be Brandon. honest. A horror campaign takes a while to build up to the point of actually being horror because the things that make something horror is when you really like get to understand the characters and you start throwing That's stuff true. at them. And the science behind horror and comedy are the same. True. Okay, I'm going to need you to explain that before we go. I will off stream. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, so, all right. Come back next week to find out what what the science between if this is and horror comedy or is. comedy. Who knows? Selkie or I will explain it to you next week on the Lost Continent. Stay lost, everybody, and uh, stay yeah. safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that outro. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs>